What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 3TG Chapter 051 Luffy, Garp and Sikong Yi are fighting. Sarab Village Port. The marine warship slowly docked, Garp jumped to the vicinity of Shanks, and joked while eating Senbei. Why don't you run away? Shanks raised his hands in surrender. Mr. Garp, don't embarrass me. You should have read the previous newspaper. Luffy is on the Z-Way Pirates. Even if you want trouble, you should find them. I said, as long as you bring Luffy to me, the old man will not make things difficult for you. Seeing this, Shanks silently mourned Sikong Yi for a second in his heart, and then betrayed the Z-Way Pirates without hesitation. They just left, just three minutes ago. Pointing out the direction where the Z-Way Pirates left, Shanks didn't feel the slightest sense of guilt for cheating others, but felt very comfortable. Seeing that Garp still had doubts, Shanks added, If you don't believe me, you can ask the villagers on this island. Garp handed over all the inquiries to Bogart, and Bogart quickly went back and nodded to Garp. Follow me. Now that he found traces of his grandson, Garp naturally lost his interest in catching mice. The Emperor Star sailed for only half an hour before being overtaken by Garp. That's right, Garp did as Sikong Yi expected, after learning that the Emperor Star was going against the wind, he stepped on the moonwalk decisively to catch up. Standing on the ship's side, Garp stared condescendingly at the seven little pirates including Luffy, the oldest of which was only 11 years old, and the youngest was only 7 years old. As for Banjina, before Garp arrived, Sikong Yi asked her to return to the heroic spirit ship, and told Buggy, Crow and others to obey Banjina's order, and then asked Kuina to completely seal the world transmitting gate. Grandfather, Luffy gave a weak cry, always feeling a little afraid of his own grandfather. Luffy, you are so brave. You came out to be a pirate while Grandpa was away. Garp clenched his fists loudly. Boom. He punched Luffy into the deck, and everyone was too scared to say a word, while Sikong Yi looked at the hole in the deck with distress. It hurts, Luffy's tears were beaten, but because of the rubber constitution and the devil's constitution, Luffy's resistance was very strong. Seeing that Luffy was so resistant to beating, Garp took Luffy and beat him for another half an hour, starving poor little Luffy. That's right, the devil's physique can heal itself, but it needs to consume a lot of physical strength. If you heal a lot, you will naturally feel hungry easily. The person involved, Garp, can best appreciate Luffy's ability to resist beatings and self-healing, and is surprised by the rumored immortality. After beating Luffy until he was unconscious, Garp, who was still angry, turned his attention to Sikong Yi again. Seeing that the situation was not good, Sikong Yi immediately used the Yumi ship spirit to possess Luffy's head. Um, Garp, who had lost Sikong Yi's breath, saw Sikong Yi flying over Luffy's head, so he punched Luffy in the head again. In the end, only Luffy suffered and Sikong Yi had nothing to do with it. Garp touched for a long time with his hands, but he didn't even catch a hair on Sikong Yi. You come down. I reject. Joke, Garp's iron fist of love is not a joke, he is wearing it, maybe Garp killed him by accident. If you don't come down, I'll beat your crew. Facing Garp's threat, Sikong Yi is determined. You can do whatever you want, as long as you don't kill yourself. Although Garp likes to beat up children, it won't kill anyone, so Sikong Yi doesn't have to worry about the safety of the crew. Believe it or not I put you in impel down. You can do whatever you want, as long as I don't die, I will bring the crew out sooner or later. If you don't come down again, I will smash your pirate ship. Up to you, seeing that Sikong Yi still looks like a dead pig who is not afraid of boiling water. Garp was also excited, he didn't believe that this guy didn't need to eat and drink, and immediately decided to guard Luffy all day. In order to prevent Sikong Yi from possessing the rest of the crew, Garp asked Zoro and others to be within his field of vision as much as possible. After three days of stalemate like this, Sikong Yi still stayed well on Luffy's head. Although not eating or drinking makes Sikong Yi appear to be in poor condition, there is no need to worry about dying of thirst and starvation. During the period, the warship rendezvoused with the Emperor Star, but Garp did not let Marine arrest Luffy and his party, but instead allowed them to move freely on the Emperor Star, eat and drink, and slowly headed towards the Kingdom of Goa. Night of the third day. Garp was the first to be unable to sit still, and lifted the sleeping Luffy to the deck, looking directly at Sikong Yi lying on top of Luffy's head. You are really able to endure. You can survive without eating or drinking for three days. After three days of observation, Garp found that the Z-Way pirates were indeed not vicious pirates, but more like a group of like-minded adventurers. Why not be an adventurer, as long as you put down the pirate flag, you can chase freedom. Regarding this question, Sikong Yi smiled calmly, and said in a tone that looked down on Hung Chen. In my hometown, a famous person once said a word. People in the arena involuntarily. Love and hatred are hard to end, and grievances are endless. Could it be true that the tragedies of the Jonghu people are all caused by them? Sikong Yi's plain words made Garp completely silent. Chapter 052 Sikong Yi is persuasive, and Garp gradually breaks the defense. The white moonlight shone down, covering the Emperor Star with a layer of silver light. Garp sat cross-legged on the deck, 
opened his mouth several times to say something, and finally sighed. At this time, Sikong Yi spoke first. Vice Admiral Garp, what do you think if one day I met an aristocrat and committed a crime in the street, but Marine recognized me as a criminal when I acted righteously? What if one day I heard that the colonel of the Marine branch colluded with the pirates in the fish and meat town, and wanted to report to Marine but was beaten up? Even if I don't mind my own business, what do you think of me if any nobleman wants to capture me as a slave, and I killed the other guard's bodyguard during my resistance and was finally wanted? The three questions hit the nail on the head, leaving Garp speechless. Although the identity of an adventurer is above board, he will not stand against Marine, but the sea is not just what Marine says. In addition to the pirates and the revolutionary army, there are various kingdoms and countless nobles. However, Marine is the umbrella of the aristocracy. Who can guarantee that Sikong Yi will not have conflicts with the noble class one day in the future? Vice Admiral Garp, if my future is the kind where I see injustices but turn a blind eye, and be humiliated by nobles but swallow, then I might as well be a pirate. Sikong Yi's tone turned cold. Listening to Sikong Yi's narration, Garp already understood the other person's thoughts, feeling helpless and sad for the world at the same time. After all, this sea is the world of the strong, regardless of marine pirates or revolutionary army, without strength, one is not qualified to dictate one's own destiny. Celestial dragons and the nobles buy and slaughter slaves every day is an astronomical number, and many of these slaves are ordinary civilians who abide by the law. So, he persuaded Sikong Yi not to be a pirate, wouldn't trouble come to him? Little Sikong, it is undeniable that your views on this world are reasonable, but the world of pirates is also not as good as you imagined, why not join our marine? Join marine? Seeing that Garp actually wanted to recruit him, Sikong Yi couldn't help being taken aback. However, thinking of the case of hypnosis teacher Zhang Gao's successful whitewashing in the original book, I was relieved. Because you Ziwe pirates have not made a big mistake yet, I have asked that old guy Sengoku to lower your bounty. Join Marine, and the old man can also decide to cancel the bounty. Good guy, it turned out that you deducted the reward from the young master, no wonder no one surpassed the 10,000 reward. Sikong Yi secretly slandered, if Garp hadn't been involved in this, he would have obtained at least three captain characteristics. To be honest, joining Marine is also a very good choice, especially under the premise of Mr. Garp as the backstage. It's a pity that Sikong Yi is bound to the god level pirate group system and is destined to become a pirate. Vice Admiral Garp, are you still asleep? Sikong Yi asked abruptly. Huh? Garp didn't know why. I remember that after the execution of the One Piece King Luo Jia 12 years ago, Marine suspected that there was a posthumous child of the One Piece in Batherl Island, so all the pregnant women suffered that year. How did you know this? You probably weren't born 12 years ago, right? Before he could finish speaking, Garp interrupted. The old man's face gradually became gloomy. Knowing that the matter of the year had been blocked by Marine, it is logically impossible for Sikong Yi to know. If you want people not to know, you have to do nothing yourself. Naturally, Sikong Yi would not say that he had read the original work. What do you mean by that? Garp didn't understand why Sikong Yi suddenly talked about the Batherl Island incident, but he gradually had a bad premonition in his heart. Sikong Yi smiled faintly. I just hope that Vice Admiral Garp can recognize the reality and stop daydreaming. The world government and Marine don't allow evil blood to exist in the world. Do you think Luffy can really join Marine? Drago's identity has unconsciously affected Luffy, and the future is not destined to be peaceful. HMPH, with the old man here, Marine won't make things difficult for Luffy. Garp snorted coldly. Sikong Yi ruthlessly exposed Garp's beautiful fantasy. But how long can you keep Luffy? If one day you fight with the four emperors and die heroically, do you think Marine will use Luffy to restrain Drago? Take a step back, even if you don't die, as long as the five elders have a chance to thwart Drago in one step. Luffy will be regarded as a sharp knife to hit Drago severely. Don't say it's impossible. In order to enforce absolute justice, you marine guys can do anything. Sikong Yi is clear about this. In the original book, the biggest purpose of Summit War's public execution of Ace is to lure Whitebeard into taking the bait. Garp wanted to refute, but after thinking for a long time, he couldn't figure out why. Marine can indeed do what Sikong Yi said, and his previous thoughts were indeed a little naive. Seeing that Garp hadn't completely broken the defense, Sikong Yi continued to fuel the fire. Marine spent a lot of time trying to find the posthumous son of One Piece, because he was secretly taken away by a Marine Vice Admiral and named Ace, and he is now living in the Kingdom of Goa. Garp. Although Sikong Yi never mentioned the name of the Vice Admiral, Garp knew that Sikong Yi was talking about him. 053 Let's talk together at night, and use Marine's hand to raise tigers. Garp really wanted to ask Sikong Yi how he knew all this, but thought that the other party would probably reply with the sentence just now, so he skipped this topic. Your course is the Kingdom of Goa, are you planning to recruit Ace? Although Garp usually behaves like a simple old man, he is actually very wise and foolish, and he figured out Sikong Yi's purpose in an instant. I disagree, the old man will never let Ace go out to sea with you, he must join the marine. Garp looked determined. Sikong Yi. Do you think Ace wouldn't become a pirate without me? You haven't been in East Blue all year round, maybe you don't know it, Ace has already started saving money for going to sea. 
Sikong Yi. A man's dream will not end just because of a little obstacle, unless you completely obliterate him. Garp has a deep understanding of this. His son Drago left Marine just to chase his dream. Don't join Marine. Would you like to go out to sea with you and become a pirate? Garp was noncommittal, and being a pirate would only make Ace die faster. Sikong Yi. Being a pirate is indeed the only way out for Ace, and as long as the Ziwei pirates grow to the Shichibukai level or the Four Emperors level, Marine will have to weigh it if he wants to take action against Ace. Ha ha ha, you little brat is really interesting. After talking for a long time, it turns out that you want the old man to let you go. Garp laughed. Immediately afterwards, he remembered that Luffy was still on the side, so he quickly stopped laughing, but looked at Sikong Yi with a look that I had already seen through you. Sikong Yi rolled his eyes at this. I didn't ask you to let us go, but our Ziwei pirates can become Marine's undercover pawn among the pirates. You want to join the Marine? No, it's an undercover agent. Don't your marines often place some dark men to join large pirate groups to find out information? I plan to let the Ziwei pirates be your marines undercover agents. Sikong Yi once again emphasized marines undercover identity, and Garp immediately understood, you just want to join marine, right? Sikong Yi. I just praised you for being wise and stupid, but why did you become stupid this time? Basically, I will continue to go to sea as a pirate, and help you clean up the dregs at sea by the way, and try to gain a firm foothold in the pirate circle as much as possible. If our Ziwei pirates become the four emperors in the future, we can also cooperate with your marine to solve the remaining four emperors. After listening to Sikong Yi's description, Garp felt that the feasibility was very high. As long as the Ziwei pirates are assigned the undercover status of marine, wouldn't that mean that the safety of Luffy and Ace is basically guaranteed? At least marine will not embarrass Luffy and Ace too much in a short time. As for whether Sikong Yi will turn against marine after becoming four emperors in the future, this is not what Garp needs to care about. By that time, Luffy and Ace had grown to the point where not everyone could handle it, and he, as a grandfather, had done his duty. Garp can see it, Sikong Yi obviously wants to use Marine's hand to feed the tiger, and the Ziwei pirates are the tiger. I will think about it overnight and give you an answer tomorrow morning. After speaking, Garp went straight back to his warship. Without him, Garp was a little moved. He was deeply afraid that if he continued to stay on the Emperor Star, he could not help but agree directly. But in the end, reason prevailed, and Garp needed to take a moment to think about it, after all, his position was marine. On the deck, the cool wind blows, leaving only Sikong Yi and Luffy. It's really big, I don't know how to take my grandson back to the room. Sikong Yi complained, and slowly fell asleep. The next day, Luffy and Sikong Yi woke up when the first ray of sunlight hit the sea from the edge of the sky. Hey, why am I sleeping on the deck? Luffy looked puzzled. You are sleepwalking. Sikong Yi replied weakly. Then it was discovered that Garp suddenly appeared in front of Luffy, and Luffy was too scared to say a word. I need to talk to you in detail. Garp's meaning is self-evident, wanting to cooperate further is down from my grandson's head. Sikong Yi was a little hesitant, but thinking that he still had the same longevity as the boat, he immediately lifted Yumi Chuanling's state. Seeing that Garp did not launch an attack, Sikong Yi was relieved, and then followed Garp to an office on the warship. Garp's office is more popular, except for desks and office chairs, there are only a row of cabinets for storing files. Shaking the marine cloak, Garp sat on his office chair, Sikong Yi looked around and didn't care if there was no chair for him. Standing in front of the desk with his head on his pillow, he could see the image of a fool. Your proposal yesterday, I have reported to Marshal Sengoku, and the marshal agreed. Sikong Yi was overjoyed, but before he could be happy, he heard Garp continue, however, Marine has made some requests. Sikong Yi stood silently, without any response, waiting for Garp's next words. During the undercover mission, you can't kill innocent civilians, and you can't kill the Marine who is chasing you. If you violate the above two, the undercover contract will be terminated immediately, and Marine promises to go all out to hunt down the Ziwei pirates. Celebrate the seven-day-long holiday of National Day and enjoy reading books, recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, October 1st to October 7th. 054 Reaching an employment agreement, hockey and six forms are acquired, the new book asks for flower evaluation votes. Sikong Yi has no problem with the first point, but the second point puts him in a difficult situation. First don't dislike Marine. But what if Marine accidentally kills us with a sword and no eyes in the process of chasing us? If it is confirmed that it was manslaughter, Marine will not hold you accountable, but they will definitely condemn you and offer a high reward. Garp naturally knew that it was impossible to fight undead, so he also gave Sikong Yi and others a certain limit of manslaughter indicators. Of course Sikong Yi had no objection to this, and immediately after, Garp slapped a contract on the table and moved to Sikong Yi's direction. Sikong Yi took it and saw that it was some terms of cooperation about Marine undercover. After all, Sikong Yi does not belong to the formal marine organization, but a peripheral member, so Sengoku specially drew up an employment agreement. Marine hired the Ziwei pirates to sneak into the pirate circle as undercover agents, and at the same time asked the Ziwei pirates not to do anything to innocent civilians. 
Of course, this also includes royal nobles and even celestial dragons, as well as officials or special characters that the world government focuses on protecting. If you encounter a marine, try to avoid it as much as possible. If you can't avoid it, you can resist arrest and fight back, and you have a certain manslaughter indicator. In addition, the Z-Way pirates must unconditionally help marines solve 20 brutal and bloodthirsty pirates every year, and submit information worth at least 100 million yuan on time. During special periods, marine will assign special missions to Z-Way pirates to complete, and there will be no more than three special missions per year. Moreover, the contract will increase the requirements according to the growth ratio of Z-Way pirates' strength, and will be negotiated by Vice Admiral Garp every year. After reading these requirements, even Sikong Yi feels that Sengoku's heart is really dark. There is no mercy in employing child labor. Fortunately, Sikong Yi needs a lot of brutal pirates for recycling. Therefore, even if Sengoku does not mention this requirement, the Z-Way pirates will almost eliminate a dozen or twenty pirates every year. As for the information worth 100 million, it couldn't be easier for Sikong Yi, who has read more than 900 episodes of the original work. This year, it is possible to sell information on Doflamingo's Virgo to Sengoku, which alone is worth hundreds of millions. Although the special tasks are a bit more troublesome, they are still within Sikong Yi's controllable range. As for Marine, it will also ensure that the rewards of Z-Way pirates are reduced as much as possible, and at the same time, high-end Marine combat power will be restricted to arrest Z-Way pirates, and a certain degree of release will be given. Seeing that Marine only needs to pay so little to get a lot of rewards, Sikong Yi thinks that old guy Sengoku is really too much. Although what Sikong Yi needs is Marine to release water for them, it still feels like a huge loss. I need the detailed practice methods and experience summaries of Conqueror's Hockey and Marine 6 styles, and Marine needs to help me find two people. Sikong Yi tried to bargain. No, at most, I will give you the general outline of Conqueror's Hockey. The old god Garp is sitting on the office chair, anyway, Sikong Yi is now a prisoner and has no right to bargain. The reason why the general outline of Conqueror's Hockey practice is provided is to let the members of Z-Way Pirates have the power to protect themselves. Otherwise, Marine doesn't need to worry about rewards. Use this condition in exchange for Conqueror's Hockey and Marine 6 styles. Then I will provide another piece of information that is crucial to Marine in exchange for Marine helping me find two partners. Sikong Yi thought about it, and finally added a little more chips. Don't look at Sikong Yi making a lot of profit on the surface, in fact, those profit-making content are favorable conditions for Sikong Yi. Taking the bounty as an example, he wished that the reward was as high as possible, and he would definitely not let Marine restrict the free growth of the bounty. As for providing information, it is also very beneficial to the Z-Way pirates. Information, you don't want to expose Ace's affairs, do you? Garp became anxious. Sikong Yi shook his head, it's information about the Golden Lion. You have information on the Golden Lion? Garp was really shocked this time. He really couldn't figure out how a 10-year-old kid got so much information that even the Marine and World Government couldn't get. Not only does he know about Ace's past, he even knows where the Golden Lion is. Wait, I'll contact Sengoku. The matter is of great importance, and Garp cannot make a decision for a while. Once the location of the Golden Lion is determined, it is inevitable to mobilize Marines to capture them, and only Sengoku can mobilize a large number of Marines. When Garp contacted Sengoku, he didn't shy away from Sikong Yi. I really don't know whether it's because of his big heart, or because he is very relieved about Sikong Yi. Half an hour later, just as Sikong Yi was waiting until the flowers were gone, Garp finally hung up the phone. In fact, there is no need for Garp to say that, through the conversation between Garp and Sengoku just now, we know that Sengoku has agreed to his proposal. The marshal agreed, Conqueror's Hockey and Marine 6 styles will be given to you later, as for the two partners you said you were looking for, who are they? Garp is not afraid of Sikong Yi's tricks, after all, in the face of absolute power, all conspiracies and schemes are extremely pale. Chapter 055 The Missing Person Announcement, The Golden Lion's Purpose Exposed Sikong Yi thought about it first, and then began to describe the appearance and characteristics of the two. One of them is an 11-year-old girl named Tashigi, who looks very similar to Kuina, and likes to collect famous swords very much. Maybe wearing glasses or not, you should be able to find it easily according to Kuina's reward order. Sikong Yi is a little uncertain, after all, if Tashigi is Kuina, then Marine will definitely not be able to find it. The other one is named Kebi, he is a short-looking pink-haired boy, he looks about 3, 4, 5, 6 or 7 years old. Maybe wearing glasses or not, it's easy to recognize. Both of them are currently within the range of East Blue. Sikong Yi really didn't remember how old Kabi was, so he could only describe roughly. Garp. The one who looks like Kuina is probably her twin sister. And that pink-haired boy, UF King don't let go of a three-year-old, it's just crazy. There is a high probability that the two are in East Blue, and they may both be wearing glasses. Garp has a clue from the lines. You don't know them, I don't know each other. I just learned from the gossip that these two children want to be Marines. Since I have become an undercover Marine, I should recruit two partners who have Marine dreams. Sikong Yi talked eloquently, and Garp's head was full of black lines. 
He never imagined that these two children had dreams of becoming marines, and he, a heroic marine, wanted to send them to a pirate ship. No, after finding those two children, we must do ideological work hard. The old man will send someone to help you find these two children. Shouldn't the information about the golden lion you mentioned earlier be fulfilled? Garp asked. Sikong Yi shook his head, intending to get the general outline of hockey and the six forms of practice first, and then tell the information about the golden lion. Don't worry, sign the contract first. Hey, why are you putting my vigilance on hold, kid? Garp was immediately unhappy, but seeing Sikong Yi's attitude of refusing to speak, he had to draw up a new contract. There are two copies of the contract, one for Sikong Yi and one for Garp. After signing, Sikong Yi asked, There should not be many people who know that I am an undercover agent, right? Not much, just me, Sengoku, and Staff Crane. Garp accepted the contract, and asked Bogart to give hockey and six styles to Sikong Yi. Seeing that the contract had been signed and the general training outline was in hand, Sikong Yi told the information about the Golden Lion. According to gossip, the Golden Lion is currently somewhere above East Blue. I don't know exactly where it is. After all, the Golden Lion is always moving, so it's normal for the location to be unclear. However, what is certain is that Golden Lion is currently researching a special drug called IQ, which can make fierce beasts go berserk. Golden Lion intends to launch the beast into East Blue after successful development, trying to destroy Luo Jia's hometown. Garp froze. He didn't expect that the Golden Lion was actually in East Blue, and was trying to destroy East Blue. This guy's mind is squeezed by the rudder. Instead of going to New World to fight for hegemony, what kind of destruction plan does he go to East Blue for? Garp really couldn't figure it out. It's not just Garp who can't figure it out, Sikong Yi himself also thinks it's quite mysterious. You must know that Golden Lion has only been imprisoned in Impel Down for two years, that is to say, Golden Lion escaped from prison ten years ago. At that time, Shanks was still young, and the Golden Lion's strength had not regressed much, so there was no problem in aspiring to the four emperors. If this is the case, then the new generation of four emperors will all be crew members of the Lox Pirates. It's a pity that since Luo Jia's death, Golden Lion's heart has basically died, and the rudder plug makes his brain not function well. To be honest, when watching the movie version before, Sikong Yi always thought that the IQ potion was used to treat the mentally disabled Golden Lion. It's a pity that a generation of heroes lost to the protagonist Halo and Rudder. I don't have anything to do, I'll leave first. On the surface, Marine and Pirate are incompatible. If people see us walking so close, I'm afraid they will be suspected. After finishing speaking, Sikong Yi left Garp's office directly, stood on the deck of the warship, and Sikong Yi looked at the Emperor Star. Seeing Luffy exercising on the deck, he cast Yumi's ship spirit in an instant and returned to Luffy's head and then released it. In this way, the gap between the two ships can be easily crossed. Captain, you're back. My grandpa didn't do anything to you, right? If grandpa bullies you, I'll beat him up for you. Luffy vigorously gestured with his little fists. Although Luffy is a bit stupid, there is really nothing to say in terms of loyalty. Although the personality is a bit unpleasant, but who is perfect? Don't worry, your grandpa is very kind to me, and first secretly drugged Marine, and when they fall asleep at night, we can leave openly. Sikong Yi said with a smile that he and Garp had discussed this before. It is definitely not feasible to release people directly, so they can only use small tricks. Really? Luffy exclaimed, immediately attracting other friends. So Sikong Yi secretly told everyone about his escape plan, and everyone was very excited. Luffy even threatened to hold a banquet, but was kicked away by Sikong Yi. At 10 o'clock at night, Sikong Yi drove the boat away while the crew members were asleep. As for the sailors on the Garp warship, they have already been stunned by Garp, so don't worry about getting caught. 056 Rising Reward, the key to the fat black man's dream. Sailing on the seas can be exciting at times and boring at other times. After being separated from the Garp warship, the Z-Way pirates return to the state of daily training, and the little guys who are training hard can be seen everywhere on the deck. Even the daughter of Kaya participated in the training team under the scorching sun. Although I can't even hold on to a set of Saitama exercises, I never give up and have been training to the limit for three consecutive days. Today, Sikong Yi rested on the edge of the deck after completing the twelfth round of the package. Touching the gradually bulging muscles, the whole person feels extremely full. Life is so unpretentious and boring. Only by feeling these small progress can we talk about comfort. While sighing, Sikong Yi checked the combat power of himself and his partners. Captain Sikong Yi, E plus rank, 7 kills Luffy, D class. 7 kills Zoro, D class, Broken Army Kuina, D class. Broken Army Karina, F plus grade, Greedy Wolf Kaya, class F. Greedy Wolf Yusuf, class F. Restricted by physical fitness, although Sikong Yi is not as good as Luffy, Zoro and Kuina at present, the gap is not very big. And in a real fight, Sikong Yi with Dark Fruit and Rene Sheringan has at least a 70% chance of winning. But once he is unable to win in a short period of time and turns into a continuous battle, his disadvantage will become more and more obvious. 
Karina, Kaya, and Yusuf have not joined for a long time, and their foundations are also very ordinary. With the increase of boarding gift packages, they have only improved a little in strength. Obviously it's all because of the poor physique that makes the battery life not good. Sikong Yi checked the system space. At the moment, golden fruit, mara mara fruit, thunder fruit, chop chop fruit and husky fruit are lying quietly in it. Karina, Kaya and Yusuf have never eaten devil fruit, but the devil fruit in my hand is not suitable for them. It's not that Sikong Yi is stingy, but that if the results don't match the parties, it will affect the strength. And Sikong Yi has dark fruit, so he can equip his partners with better fruits. Only when his partners are strong, he will be safer as a captain. After all, he has the supreme skill of Yumi Shibling. Xiao Yi, drink some water. At this moment, Banjina, who was wearing a plain dress, came to the deck and handed Sikong Yi a glass of water. Thank you, Auntie Ben. Sikong Yi thanked, and then drank the water in the glass in one gulp. Xiao Yi's name is what Sikong Yi asked Benkina to call him. He is not the kind of arrogant and arrogant person who is arrogant and arrogant, and he is very polite to the elders of his partners. Xiao Yi, you're being polite, why don't you say thank you? It's our mother and son who are the ones thanking you. Benchina smiled gently. At this moment, a newspaper gull flew over the Emperor Star, and Sikong Yi quickly got up and whistled towards the newspaper gull. After sailing for so many days, Sikong Yi saw the newspaper delivery gull for the first time. After buying a newspaper, Sikong Yi couldn't help but smile when he saw the reward order in it. Damn it, Vice Admiral Garp is really awesome. First told Marine not to suppress the reward order, and the reward has been increased in just a few days. Dot dot dot, New World, Moby Dick. On the deck of a giant sailing ship with a bow shaped like a whale, a crescent-shaped whitebeard with a height of 6 to 7 meters is sitting on the Grand Master Chair at the moment. Holding Kong Yunchi in his right hand, the majesty and hockey on his body can be seen at a glance. This person is none other than Edward Newgate, captain of the New World Whitebeard Pirates. Whitebeard is known as the strongest man in the world. He is the earthquake man who ate shock fruit. He is called the power to destroy the world by Sengoku. At this moment, Whitebeard was staring at the dark-skinned fat man in front of him. Several teeth had fallen out of the black fat man's mouth, and he smiled with a silly vibe. Teach, have you really decided? The fat black man called Teach scratched his head and smiled innocently. Father, I have already decided to go to East Blue. Cool la la la, it seems that the eaglets are finally leaving their nests and soaring. Whitebeard laughed out loud, but the content of the words made the fat man's face darker. What is a baby eagle? Lousy is already on the verge of three, dad, isn't that a curse? But when he thought of his father's strength, Fatty Hay immediately faltered. Although Whitebeard is old at this time, his strength is still at the peak, and he is not an existence that black fat people can provoke. If Dark Fruit hadn't appeared in the small place of East Blue, the fat black man had no intention of leaving the Moby Dick at all. Isn't it nice to have a father pampering him? Everyone says, my father is Whitebeard, what a face it is to spread the word. But there is no way, people's dreams will never end, and the key to his Marshall D. Teach dream is in East Blue, how can he not go? Only by obtaining the key of dreams can he become Blackbeard. Teach, how about I accompany you? A man at the head of the plane, wearing a chef uniform and a yellow scarf around his neck, suggested. This person is Sage, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates' fourth team. He and Teach are both of the odd generation, and they have a very good relationship on weekdays. Chapter 057. The clouds move in all directions, and the captain's traits are freshly released. Just as the fat man was about to refuse, he heard the voices of the team captain surrounding him one after another, all planning to go to sea with Teach. Whitebeard was relieved to see the children united in such a way. Cool la la la, Marco, Sage, and Namur, the three of you should also accompany Teach to East Blue. There have been a lot of things happening there recently, and Teach is the only one I am worried about. Marco, Sax, and Namur all agreed, making it impossible for Teach to say no. Finally, after thinking about it, I didn't care about it. Anyway, it's not bad to have a few thugs. Father, a new newspaper is here. The Zwei Pirates, which you said to focus on last time, have increased their rewards again. The man with the mustache and cape said, handing Whitebeard the newspaper. Oh, take a look, old man. Dark spirit Sikong Yi. Only ten years old, the captain of Zwei Pirates, a dark fruit capable person, with a reward of three million. Demon Luffy. At only seven years old, the leader and vice captain of the Zwei Pirates Seven Kills team, who possesses the ability of demon fruit, has a reward of two million. Three Sword Shira Zoro. Only nine years old, one of the seven kills of the Zwei Pirates, who has practiced the three sword style and has the ability of Shira Fruit, a reward of one million is offered. Wind Swordsman Kuina. Only 11 years old, a member of the Zwei Pirates, a person with the ability of the Wind Spirit Fruit, and a reward of 1 million is offered. Strange Thief Karina. Only 8 years old, a member of the Zwei Pirates, with a reward of 100,000. Little Loli Kaya. Only 7 years old, a member of the Zwei Pirates, with a reward of 10,000. Long Nose Usopp. Only 7 years old, a member of the Zwei Pirates, with a reward of 10,000. 
Cool la la la. It hasn't been long, and the rewards for those little guys have increased again. I really want to take them as my sons. Whitebeard laughed loudly, and then passed the newspaper to his sons, which attracted many captains to become interested in such a group of little devil-headed pirates. Especially in the reward order this time, it was revealed that the Zwei pirates had three zone devil fruits and one Lodia dark fruit, which shocked countless people. Even their Whitebeard pirates don't have three phantom beasts, and even the beasts pirates probably don't. Father, this time we go to East Blue to recruit them by the way. Marco suddenly suggested that he is also very interested in pirates who are also phantom beasts. These words made the fat black face completely collapsed, and he was ready to attack this group of pirates, but he didn't expect that the old man and Marco wanted to recruit them. So, what about his dark fruit? Thinking of this, the fat man lowered his head, and the sternness in his eyes flashed away. Dad, don't blame me, I can give up everything for the dream of one piece. Cool la la la, you can try it, I can't wait to have a group of younger sons. Dot dot dot, Wanokuni, the island of ghosts. Three phantom beast ability users, I really want to get them, gulu gulu gulu. A tall and burly man with ox horns and a dragon scale tattoo on his left arm muttered, and then took a sip of wine. This man is none other than the captain of the beast's pirates, Kaido of the beasts. Beside Kaido, a burly man with a mask and wings on his back remonstrated, boss Kaido, should we? The age of these little devils really makes me not interested. Let's talk about it in a few years. Dot dot dot, IWC, Cake Island. Well, well, what a group of interesting little devils, I don't know if they can come to New World alive. Dot dot dot, East Blue, Rog Township. The red hair pirates left in a hurry after finishing the funeral of Usopp's wife, Bensina, and returned to the town of Rog after a six-day voyage. Red Force is currently stopping at the port to replenish supplies and prepare to go to the Grand Line. The last time it was because I met Vice Admiral Garpier, otherwise they would have been in the Grand Line by now. Didn't Luffy eat rubber fruit, when did he become a devil fruit? On the deck of the Red Force, Shanks leaned on the side of the ship and watched the bounty in wonder. Beckman had a cigarette in his mouth. Maybe it's a way to cover up. Yes, it's rubber fruit after all. Shanks also nodded. Dot dot dot. The entire sea became more or less interested in the Zwei pirates because of several reward orders. After all, a newly emerging pirate group in East Blue has four top-level devil fruits, and it is difficult not to attract attention. At this moment, Sikong Yi, who was reading the newspaper on the Emperor Star, also understood this point. But he is not panic at all, Zwei pirates always offer a reward of more than one million, he has two opportunities to choose the captain's characteristics, and his strength will definitely be improved. Without Marine's restraint, Golden Lion was also kicked to Marine by him, and almost no one in the entire East Blue could challenge the existence of their Zwei pirates. Only some pirates from the Grand Line or New World will make Sikong Yi pay attention. Ding! Achievement mission. The total reward of 100,000 has been completed. Please choose the captain's characteristic. Option 1. Zanpakudo Ryujin Jaka. Option 2. Zanpakudo Kyoka Suigetsu. Option 3. Zanpakudo Kaden Kyokatsu. Ding. Achievement mission. The total reward of over 1 million has been completed. Please choose the captain's characteristic. Option 1. Venom quality. Option 2. Spider-Man's physique. Option 3. Green Titan physique. Celebrate the seven-day-long holiday of National Day and enjoy reading books. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time. October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 058 Zanpakuto and Constitution, The Hidden Characteristics of Venom. The new book asks for flower evaluation votes. Looking at the six captain characteristics slowly emerging in his mind, Sikong Yi's eyes lit up, and he could finally choose his physique. But Sikong Yi didn't rush to choose, but checked the profile. Filled Diamond Zanpakuto Ryujin Jaka. Zanpakuto, the strongest in the heat department, can control flames to unleash extremely fiery slashes. Filled Diamond Zanpakuto Kyoka Suigetsu. Zanpakuto, the strongest in the illusion department, can complete hypnosis target and control the target's five senses. Filled Diamond Zanpakuto Kaden Kyokutsu, one of the unique Zanpakuto pairs that can turn children's games into reality. Filled Diamond Venom Temperament, a powerful and spiritual parasite resides in the body. Under the parasitic state, it has the characteristics of self-healing, simulated deformation, differentiation and regeneration, and spiritual immunity. Filled Diamond Spider-Man Physique. Infected by a radioactive spider, he has physical fitness and sensitivity far beyond ordinary people, and can absorb and spin silk like a spider. Filled Diamond Green Titan Physique. Born from the radiation emitted by the Gamma Bomb, whenever the emotion is excited and the heart beats faster, it will transform into a Green Titan, gaining powerful strength and immortality. After reading it, Sikong Yi took a deep breath, handed the newspaper and water glass to Bankina, and he himself entered the captain's cabin. At this moment, Sikong Yi was in an extremely restless mood. Sikong Yi wants all six attributes, but he knows he can only choose two. Among the three Zanpakuto, Ryujin Jaka has the strongest attack power, and the power of the flame is quite heaven-defying. 
Even if it is restricted by the system, it is still the strongest flame in the world of One Piece. Kaden Kyokutsu can pull targets within range of Reiatsu into the game, and loser dies. However, the rules of the game are set by the knife holder himself, and the chances of winning are still great. Both Zanpakuto are good, but Sikong Yi prefers Kyokusui Getsu. Not for anything else, the five sense control alone can almost roam the entire One Piece world at will, not because the hairspray hand is particularly handsome. System, I choose Kyokusui Getsu for the first option. Just as Sikong Yi made his choice, a slightly curved knife appeared in the system space. He took it out and looked left and right, but he couldn't recognize the shape of the knife, so Sikong Yi simply imitated Kuina and carried it behind his back. No way, everyone who has watched Sword Art Online knows that Grandpa Tong's sword drawing action is so handsome, if you don't have a waist, you will lose a lot of grades. Subsequently, Sikong Yi set his sights on three physiques. In fact, there is really no suspense. Spider-Man is not very useful in the sea. Doflamingo may like it, but Sikong Yi is fine. As for the Green Titan, he he, he has no interest in fighting in big underpants, so that's also ruled out. Then only the Venom quality remains. However, the temperament of Venom is extremely sensitive to heat and sound waves, and it will be very troublesome once it is targeted. System, can you eliminate the side effects of the Venom quality? Return to host, please carefully read the introduction to the captain's characteristics. Side effects are also one of the characteristics. This system does not list side effects, which means that the Venom quality has no side effects. Huh, Sikong Yi was taken aback for a moment, and then looked at the introduction of the Venom's temperament. Good guy, Sikong Yi direct good guy. Is this system so idle that it actually came to chat with him? Okay, then I will choose the Venom quality. As the voice fell, Sikong Yi felt something more in his body, stretched out his hand and clenched his fist, and saw that his arm was covered with a layer of black fluid. Sikong Yi thought it was a novelty, and wanted to cover the whole body with the black substance, but found that it couldn't be done. The answer he got after asking the system made Sikong Yi lose his temper completely. The venom quality also needs to be open, and the initial stage can only cover half of the arm. Venom, are you there? Sikong Yi tried to communicate with Venom. Master, what are your orders? Suddenly, a voice came from Sikong Yi's mind. This electronic sound is different from the system, but it is like the voice of a five or six year old boy, soft and cute. With a little accent, it looks quite special, the kind that you will never forget once you hear it. However, Sikong Yi's focus was not on Venom's voice, but on Venom's tone of shock, as if he regarded him as the master. Yes, master, my will is endowed by the system, and I am 100% loyal to the master. The Venom can sense the thoughts of the host, so before Sikong Yi asked a question, he gave the answer first. After receiving this answer, Sikong Yi was completely relieved. In Marvel, although the ability of Venom is good, there are really many side effects. Heat energy, sound waves, and the Venom's own will interfere, and if the host doesn't have a firm heart, it may still be affected. The reason why he fell in love with Venom from the beginning was that apart from Sikong Yi's confidence that he could be tamed, he also took a fancy to another hidden feature of Venom. Fortunately, the system is powerful, and all side effects are eliminated, saving him a lot of effort. As for that hidden feature, it always lingered in Sikong Yi's mind, and it was also the fundamental reason why he had to forcibly choose Venom regardless of the side effects. Venom, you should also be able to eat a devil fruit, right? Devil fruit is not only edible by humans, other creatures can also be eaten, and venom is obviously in this category. Yes, master, 059 I heard that dark fruit is more suitable for Mr. Venom. After getting the affirmative answer from Venom, Sikong Yi was completely excited. This also means that he will become a double fruit ability user. Let me think about it, what fruit is suitable for Venom to eat? Sikong Yi muttered, thinking to himself. Originally, he wanted to feed Mara Mara fruit or Sonic fruit to Venom, so as to eliminate one of the side effects of Venom itself. But since the Venom has no side effects, there is no need for him to consider these two fruits. For the rest, the poisonous fruit is pretty good, but it is a pity that it takes at least 10 hours of diarrhea a day, which is time-consuming and uncomfortable, and I really can't bear it. Marsh fruit is a bit ugly, don't think about it, but in the original book, the tongue of the marsh fruit-capable person caribou is as good as venom. Forget about the shadow fruit, it is for Karina. A large number of devil fruits keep appearing in Sikong Yi's mind, some are more suitable and some are complementary. But Sikong Yi is not particularly satisfied. In the end, Sikong Yi still thought that dark fruit was the best match, but it was a pity that he ate it. Master, I can transfer the dark fruit in your body to me, so that the master can also take another devil fruit. Um, hearing that Venom can transfer devil fruit, Sikong Yi quickly asked, then if devil fruit is transferred by you, can I swim? He didn't forget that one of the side quests was to let him swim for an hour. Although people with fruit abilities are afraid of water, including seawater and fresh water, Sikong Yi does not regret eating devil fruit. However, whether it is sea water or fresh water, in fact, it will not invalidate the ability, it will only make the ability user weak. Sikong Yi remembers that in the original book, when Luffy was dragged into the sea in Arlong Paradise, his body could still stretch. 
In the original Summit War, Marco was handcuffed by Seastone, but after Marco cut off his arm to restore his ability, he repaired the broken arm again. It is enough to see that as long as the brain is big enough, there are many ways to overcome side effects. This is similar to how Buggy broke away from the Seastone bracelet at the beginning. Buggy also used the characteristics of fragmentation to break away from the shackles. But now, maybe the venom can also help him overcome the side effects, but it's a pity that before he was happy, the venom poured him a basin of cold water. No, the venom and the host belong to the relationship between the host and the parasite, and the side effects of the two are the same. Sikong Yi was a little disappointed, but it seemed reasonable after thinking about it. In the movie, when Venom is attacked by sound waves, Host himself will also feel uncomfortable. Ignore the side effects. Anyway, with the Seastone bracelet, this will be resolved sooner or later. You should transfer the Dark Fruit to the Venom first. Sikong Yi gave the Dark Fruit to Venom without hesitation. Dark Fruit has a lot of side effects, if it wasn't for strengthening his strength and gaining the ability to capture Devil Fruit, he really wouldn't be so rare. Logia, who has no elementalization, will suffer double pain after being beaten. These two points make Sikong Yi very unhappy. However, after Venom obtained Dark Fruit, these two side effects became advantages. Most of the battles of Venom will wrap the host. Wouldn't having elementalization allow physical attacks to penetrate the Venom and hit the host? It's better without elementalization. Moreover, Venom's ability to withstand pain must be many times stronger than Sikong Yi's. As long as the pain is doubled, the damage can be offset, which is simply a magic skill for Venom. Okay master, please wait a moment. The Venom began to transfer the Dark Fruit, during which time Sikong Yi began to think about his second Devil Fruit. He is not Venom, there are more Devil Fruits to choose from. Sparkling Fruit is pretty good. It may have unexpected effects when it is lighted and darkened. Unfortunately, Kazaru is too strong. Don't expect it in a short time. Thunder Fruit is also quite good. Its speed and lethality are extremely strong. The key is elementalization, and it can be taken directly to instantly increase its strength. It can be included in the candidate list. The top Devil Fruit in the Pirate World is more than one palm, what Shock Fruit, Qinglong Fruit, Phoenix Fruit, Wangquan Fruit, Op Op Fruit, Soul Soul Fruit. And many more. The Soul Fruit seems to be very powerful. It is a good thing to increase the lifespan, and it is not as disgusting as the Vampire Fruit. It can also help other friends to increase the lifespan. Most importantly, Sikong Yi really wants to raise a few homies. That's the decision. If you encounter an unsolvable crisis in a short period of time, you will eat Thunder Fruit to increase your strength. If there is no danger, then wait until the future to solve Bigumamu and take her Soul Soul Fruit. After confirming, the venom absorbing dark fruit also came to an end. Perhaps because of compatibility, the development rate of dark fruit increased to 25%, and the development rate of venom also jumped to 20%, just like riding a rocket. And his combat strength also surpassed the three of Luffy Zoro Kuina from E plus rank to D rank. Venom Armor. Sikong Yi called out the name of the move, and saw that his whole body was wrapped in a layer of pitch black substance, but this layer of pitch black substance was a bit thin. About the thickness of a tights. Behind Sikong Yi, Zanpakudo Kyoka Suigetsu is firmly bound by a few tentacles, so he doesn't have to worry about falling during the battle. 060 The Militant Trio, Venom's Strongest Defense Mode. Sikong Yi felt unprecedentedly excited, and immediately opened the door of the captain's cabin and came to the deck. The little friends who were training noticed the dark monster suddenly appearing on the boat, the fangs exposed in the big ferocious mouth, and the scarlet and agile long tongue, and they trembled in fright. When they were stared directly at by the strange lavender eyes without pupils of the pitch black monster, everyone felt chills all over their bodies, as if falling into an ice cellar. However, this pair of eyes gave everyone a sense of familiarity, especially the looming hook jade in the left eye was very obvious. However, everyone did not connect this monster with Sikong Yi for a while. Taking a deep breath, Zoro and Kuina were the first to recover from the shock, ready to draw their swords. The two little girls, Karina and Kaya, turned pale and screamed, while Usopp fainted on the spot. I don't know if it's real dizziness or fake dizziness. As for Luffy, he was full of curiosity, and even said something surprising. That's amazing, do you want to join our Zwei pirates? Sikong Yi, the rest of the people. Sikong Yi removed the Venom helmet, revealing his true colors, with white hair and purple eyes, the obvious features made everyone stunned. E.H., Captain. Karina looked in disbelief. Captain, are you possessed by a monster? Zoro exclaimed. Don't worry about the captain, we are here to save you. Seeing that everyone misunderstood, Sikong Yi explained to everyone. This is a new ability I developed. I named it Venom Armor. It can increase physical fitness and has many unique abilities. You have grown a lot during this time, but you haven't encountered any decent enemies. Let me test your strength today. Hearing that Sikong Yi was going to make a move, Luffy was the first to get excited. Okay, okay, I've never fought the captain before. On weekdays, Luffy would often go to Zoro to discuss, and Zoro would go to Kuina to discuss, and the rest mainly focused on training themselves. These three militants also challenged Sikong Yi, but were rejected. Unexpectedly, 
Sikong Yi took the initiative to challenge today, which made the militant trio not excited. Captain, you are finally willing to fight with us today. Kuina smiled and pulled out the sword of vowed victory. I have basically mastered the Wind King enchantment, and I can use the curry stick. Curry stick is the nickname given by Sikong Yi to Kuina's sword of oath of victory. Although Kuina complained about it several times, he finally accepted the name. However, at this moment, Karina's untimely voice interrupted everyone. Captain, we are only three kilometers away from the kingdom of Goya, so it's not appropriate to compete now. Karina didn't want to fight this monster, so she immediately found an excuse. Kaya also said, I'm just an auxiliary person, not good at fighting, but you can come to me if you are injured. Usopp, continuing to pretend to be dizzy. Seeing that the timid trio was unwilling to join the battle, Sikong Yi didn't care, anyway, what he really wanted to challenge was the militant trio. We're going to the kingdom of Goa soon, let's fight quickly. Sikong Yi said something briefly, then covered his body with venom, and rushed towards Luffy first, and Luffy also punched directly. Boom. Blowing Luffy away with one punch, Sikong Yi drew out Kyoko Suigetsu to block the curry stick that Kuina slashed, and his left hand turned into a long knife in the shape of Kyoko Suigetsu, stabbing Kuina's abdomen. Seeing this, Kuina was a little sullen, and immediately stepped back to avoid the attack. In front of the multi-knife style, the one-knife style is somewhat disadvantaged. However, Sikong Yi's left hand once again turned into a chain and stretched to bind Kuina, and then planned to do the same to bind Luffy. Zoro also sensed that something was wrong at this time, and immediately cast a big move, trying to attack the enemy and save him. One knife flow, draw the sword and cut, the rain. Facing the fragment attack of the Demon Saber Thousand Blades, Sikong Yi didn't bother to dodge. With the endurance of the venom, he could completely resist the double pain. Even if he couldn't bear it, the venom stood in front of him. Even if the venom can't block the attack, Sikong Yi is not worried about being injured, anyway, the self-healing ability of the venom is enough to recover most of the injuries. Taking another 10,000 steps back, even if Sikong Yi is dead, he can be reborn on the Emperor Star. While the chains bound Luffy, Jian Yu also hit the venom armor. Whoosh! Hundreds of fragments comparable to bullets hit Sikong Yi without causing the slightest injury or pain. It feels lighter than a small fist beating your chest, and it feels like you have entered a massage parlor. Venom, can you bear the level of pain just now? Sikong Yi asked Venom in his heart, which was his main purpose for initiating this discussion. Master, I feel okay, even if it's ten times more, I can bear it. Hearing Venom's swearing words, Sikong Yi smiled, but in Zoro's view, Sikong Yi's smile was full of weirdness. In particular, his unique move had no effect on Sikong Yi, which shocked Zoro even more. Why are you not hurt at all? Chapter 061. Arrive at Goa Kingdom, the most beautiful place in East Blue. Because I am strong. Sikong Yi's answer is concise and to the point, but the fact is that, dark fruit, which cannot be elementalized, will naturally make up for it on the other hand. Dark energy can absorb the damage received, but the pain is double that of normal people. This also means that the stronger the endurance, the stronger the defense, and the venom is a creature with extremely strong endurance. For Sikong Yi's simple answer, Zoro was speechless, and his aura was hidden. Captain, next, I will use the strongest move. However, before he finished speaking, Zoro fell straight to the ground and fell asleep. Guyu in the venomous purple eyes stopped spinning, shook his head and laughed. I never like to be procrastinating when dealing with the enemy. If I can kill in seconds, I will never give the opponent a chance to attack. In those anime battles, the protagonist often waits for the villain to use up all the moves before killing him, but that is for the effect of the show, and real battles are always quick. After the battle, Sikong Yi released Kuina and Luffy, and awakened Zoro again. The militant trio sat in a row and fell silent after learning that they had lost the battle within a minute. Sikong Yi didn't intervene too much in this regard. It takes countless battles to accumulate combat experience before he can understand how to use his own advantages and how to guard against his own disadvantages. Seeing that he is about to arrive in Goa Kingdom, Sikong Yi recruits Karina. Karina, you are now dividing the Shadow Soldiers into two teams. One team is stationed on the Emperor Star, and the other team sneaks into the Kingdom of Goa to inquire about information. Mainly collect the basic information and criminal records of those royal nobles, and you will summarize them and hand them over to me. Karina heard the captain's big action from the words, and quickly responded, I promise to complete the task. Sikong Yi nodded, he was still very relieved of Karina, a clever little girl. Then he found Vangina again and sent Aunt Ban back to the heroic spirit ship. As for the rest of the heroic spirits, they will be closed for the time being, and they will be released naturally when they are needed. Then Sikong Yi explained some precautions to the partners, and the Emperor Star also entered the port of Goa Kingdom smoothly at this time. The Kingdom of Goa is known as the most beautiful country in East Blue for no reason. As soon as you enter the port, you can see the clean streets ahead, rows of neat buildings, and the passers-by in bright clothes. Pedestrians spoke elegantly and behaved gracefully, and almost everyone had a faint smile on their faces. The first impression for everyone in Zwei Pirates is beauty. However, Sikong Yi just glanced at it plainly and lost interest. 
It was just a false scene created by a group of nobles who only sucked blood. After furling the sails and sinking the anchor, Sikong Yi and other seven people stepped off the Emperor Star one after another, but before they left the port, they heard a person approaching with a disdainful voice. You scum of the sea, who allowed you to step into the territory of the Kingdom of Goa? Sikong Yi turned his head to look, and saw a middle-aged man with a big belly walking slowly with a cigar in his mouth. Judging by the formal suit he was wearing, he might be a person in charge of maintaining port security. He was not interested in dealing with this kind of person, a Sharingan illusion was thrown over, and the man with a big belly fell asleep instantly. At this time, the members of the Zwei pirates turned their heads. Seeing that no one spoke, Luffy couldn't help but wonder. Someone called us just now. You heard me wrong, that person is looking for scum, don't take it for granted. Karina punched Luffy on the head, and secretly glanced at Sikong Yi with small eyes, obviously guessing that the man who fell to the ground was the captain of her own ship. The rest of the people didn't say anything. Sikong Yi took a few people to eat something on the central street first, and then headed towards the terminal of the uncertain object. The seven wandered all the way, and it took three hours to get out of the city. However, as soon as they stepped through the city gate, they saw piles of rubbish, and the stench came over them. The three girls frowned subconsciously. Why is there so much rubbish here? Isn't Goya Kingdom known as the most beautiful and cleanest kingdom in East Blue? Kaya couldn't help asking. For Kaya, Sikong Yi is still very doting, and immediately touched Kaya's little head and said with a smile. In this world, there is no place that is absolutely clean. The Goya Kingdom is clean because they threw all the garbage here. Those people in Goa Kingdom seem to be very polite, just because they kicked out all the rude people. Hearing this, Kaya covered her small mouth with disbelief, what kind of cleanliness is this, isn't this deception? The kingdom of Goa makes me feel dirtier than this garbage dump. Kuina wrinkled her nose and muttered dissatisfiedly. Garbage station, hee <laughs> hee, this is not called a garbage station, but an uncertain object terminal. Sikong Yi spread his hands. Kuina's expression became even uglier when she heard this. The garbage dump is just a garbage dump, and even the name has been beautified. Is it really good to be so blatantly deceiving yourself? The impression of the kingdom of Goa in the hearts of everyone has fallen to the bottom. 062 Encounter with the Sapphire Pirates, Ace Sabo appears. Okay, don't worry about that, let's find Ace and Sabo first. Sikong Yi interrupted everyone's thinking, these things are too heavy for a group of children, there is no need to affect their mood. Ace, Sabo, where are you? Luffy yelled directly, and the rest followed suit. In fact, Sikong Yi intends to find the bandit Dayton directly. As long as he finds Dayton, he will be able to find Ace, and finding Ace is not far from finding Sabo. But the problem is, Sikong Yi has no idea where Dayton's family is at all. I only know that they are in Mount Corpo, but Mount Colpo has a large dense forest and continuous mountains, and it is impossible to find them without looking for a few days and nights. Therefore, the terminal of uncertain objects has become the easiest place to find Ace and Sabo. You know Ace. At this time, three people came over. The leader was a strong man with lavender long hair, wearing a red shirt, and had a strange tattoo on his left arm. This attire reminded Sikong Yi of someone instantly. Burl Jamie, a member of the Sapphire Pirates. Because the money of the pirate group was robbed by Ace, he came to Ace to settle accounts, and was finally shot and killed by the captain because of his bad work. I don't know him, we are looking for him. Sikong Yi said lightly. What are you looking for him for? Burjami stared straight at Sikong Yi, as if he would kill you if you couldn't give a satisfactory answer. It doesn't matter, of course it's to pull Ace to join our pirate team. Luffy said without thinking, picking his nostrils. Sikong Yi smiled lightly at this, and was not angry because Luffy revealed his purpose, because it doesn't matter whether he said it or not. If Jamie Burr dared to make trouble for him, he wouldn't mind recovering a heroic spirit and a shadow soldier, and he would give Luffy another meal by the way. Oh, if that's the case, shouldn't Ace get back the money he stole from us? Burr Jamie pinched his knuckles and smiled ferociously. Seeing this, Sikong Yi also laughed, and immediately cast the venom armor, revealing a smile ten times scarier than Jamie Burr. Even Ace and Sabo can solve you, do you think you can provoke me? The unique and heavy overlapping sound of the venom reached Burjami's ears, causing the latter to take a few steps back in fright, his face pale, you, what kind of monster are you? What happened here naturally attracted the attention of many people around, and they were all horrified by Sikong Yi's venom armor. This is quite a humanoid monster. Sikong Yi didn't bother to answer, he punched Burr Jamie and the two younger brothers behind him half to death, and then asked Karina to sign an active shadow contract with him. As for the heroic spirit contract, Sikong Yi thought about it and decided to forget it. These guys are trash in strength and their character is extremely bad, so there is no need to survive. When Luffy ate three of them, the onlookers were all scared away. In fact, Venom can also eat them, but the picture is too bloody, Sikong Yi thought about it and let it go. Luffy digesting those pirates can enhance his own strength, and Venom digesting pirates can at most satisfy his hunger. Bark. Zoro suddenly slashed at the rubbish pile beside him, and saw two teenagers jump out of the pile of rubbish and run away. 
Chase. Sikong Yi gave the order, and the whole person rushed out first. The two teenagers who ran away, one with black hair and pockmarked face, the other with yellow hair and missing teeth, were Ace and Sabo that Sikong Yi was looking for. Ace and Sabo originally came to the terminal of the uncertain object to inquire about the information of the Sapphire Pirates, but unexpectedly they heard someone calling them. Ace and Sabo, who were vigilant by nature, hid from the sidelines and watched, and then saw Sikong Yi transform into a monster and deal with the three of Burr and Jamie with a few tricks. Afterwards, Luffy's arm was stretched and the three of Admiral were wrapped up, and they swallowed it completely in a short while. This can scare the two little guys to death. Due to being too nervous, he accidentally touched the metal piece next to him and made a slight sound, which was noticed by Zoro and forced out. What should I do? Sabo was anxious, he didn't think he and Ace could defeat the two monsters behind. But he knew better that running would definitely not beat the opponent. That's why he asked Ace, wanting to know if the latter was going to fight, or just surrender. Ace struggled for two seconds, and finally became determined. Fight. I won't admit defeat. Okay. Seeing this, Sabo also planned to risk his life to accompany Junzi. The two stopped running, back to back, with determination on their faces. Sikong Yi chased Ace and the two, but did not launch an attack, but stood on a garbage mountain, looking down at the two. The members of the Zwei pirates followed closely behind, and surrounded Ace and Ace, with weird smiles on everyone's faces. My 8,000 pirates have surrounded the entire terminal of uncertainty, now let's see how you escape. Usopp pointed the slingshot at the two of Ace, full of momentum. Sikong Yi, you can die without bragging. Usopp basically never told a lie on the Emperor Star because of Banjina's discipline. He never thought that just after leaving the scope of his mother's supervision, he committed the old problem again. Celebrate the seven-day-long holiday of National Day and enjoy reading books. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time. October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 063. Sabo challenges Usopp, awakens his overlord spirit. The new book asks for flower evaluation votes. Boast. Sabo saw the clue at a glance, causing Usopp to be embarrassed for a while. You little devil with a missing tooth, my uncle's subordinates are hiding in the depths of the darkness, and it's normal that you can't find it. Usopp immediately pulled out the banner of the shadow soldiers, and then frantically winked at Karina, hoping that the latter would summon one or two shadow soldiers to control the place. Too bad Karina didn't talk to Usopp at all. Hey, that long nose, let's fight one-on-one -on -one if you can. Sabo suddenly challenged Usopp. Seeing this, Ace's eyes lit up. They would definitely lose in a group fight, so it's better to take out a few weaker ones in a one-on-one -on -one format first. Sikong Yi and Luffy were directly eliminated by Ace. These two guys looked like murderous demons without blinking an eye, and they couldn't afford to provoke them. The remaining three girls are weak and weak, and Ace is not interested. So, Ace set his sights on Zoro. Hey, that green algae head, I want to fight you one-on-one. -on -one. Seeing that Sikong Yi didn't stop, Usopp and Zoro agreed immediately. In the first game, Sabo played against Usopp. Long nose, your weapon is a slingshot. Sabo, holding a water hose, joked that the slingshot was a child's trick. Usopp picked up a small stone on the ground, with a serious face. Don't underestimate me, I, Uncle Usopp, is the chief sniper of the Zwei Pirates, known as the god of explosive dragon sniper. PFF. Sabo couldn't hold back, and burst out laughing. Long nose, you have a bad habit of bragging and not drafting. It's easy to be seen through. Sabo suddenly withdrew his smile and rushed towards Usopp, obviously wanting to finish him off before Usopp could react. Although Sabo looks down on Usopp on the surface, in fact, his vigilance against Usopp has not decreased at all. Usopp, who can become a partner with the two monsters Sikong Yi and Luffy, no matter how weak he is, he must have certain strength. Kill the flame dragon star. Usopp raised the slingshot to aim at Sabo, and concentrated the blasting power of the dragon spell on the small stones. As the violent flames gathered in the center of the slingshot, the resulting force rolled up the surrounding dust. Seeing such a huge scene, Sabo opened his mouth wide, as if he could stuff two eggs, and then directly raised his hands in surrender. I surrender. There is no way, Sabo is not sure about receiving that terrifying flame impact. However, Usopp couldn't hear Sabo's words clearly because his body was too close to the blasting force and his attention was all focused on the condensed flame dragon star. What did you say? Forget it, eat me first and then talk. After saying that, a giant dragon wrapped in violent flames flew towards Sabo. Seeing this, Sabo swallowed, and tried his best to dodge to the side, but even so, Yanlong brushed Sabo's body and burned most of the skin. Sabo. Seeing this, Ace wanted to rush to the rescue, but found that the distance was too far, and the anxiety in his heart was rampaging inside his body like a mad cow with nowhere to vent. The next moment, an awe-inspiring aura burst out from Ace. Conqueror's hockey. The conquerors in Luffy's body was also spurted out by the traction of the Chi machine. The collision of the two conquerors made the timid trio faint. Zoro and Kuina barely supported for a while, then fainted too. Only Sikong Yi was left to resist. Venom possesses mental immunity, 
so he quickly revoked it in order to experience conqueror's Sikong Yi, and then experienced a pressure in his mind. Sikong Yi frantically resisted, hoping to stimulate the conquerors in his body through this kind of oppression. As for whether he has conquerors in his body, Sikong Yi has never considered it. After all, as a time traveler, isn't conquerors hockey worthy? As the captain of a ship, as a traveler carrying a cheat, why can't I awaken the conquerors? Give it to my grandpa. Open ah, boom. In the world of One Piece, it is not unreasonable to rely on roar for output. Feeling the momentum erupting from his body, Sikong Yi was ecstatic. The moment the three hockey collided, they disappeared without a trace. Luffy and Ace both covered their heads, feeling the tingling pain. Sikong Yi also experienced a tingling sensation, as if someone had cut a small hole in the back of his head with a chisel, it would not kill him, but it was extremely painful. This is conquerors, Sikong Yi murmured, and flipped through the properties panel. Host, Sikong Yi, position, captain, combat power, D rank, skills, longevity and boat, Yumi boat spirit, characteristics, dark fruit 25%, Rene Sharingan 10%, Zanpakuto Kyoka Suigetsu, 1%, venomous quality 20%, conquerors 1%. Sure enough, Conqueror's Hockey appeared in the feature column. At the same time, the Rene Sharingan reached 10%, the left eye opened Ergoyu, the right eye did not change, but the purity of the white eye seemed to improve. It's so cool, I didn't expect to have unexpected gains. Sikong Yi felt that his luck was exceptionally good today. Not only found Ace and Sabo, but also awakened Conquerors and Ergoyu. 06427 kill potential stocks, a wonderful bitter trick. Turning his attention away from the system panel, Sikong Yi glanced at Ace, and Sabo lying on the ground beside him with extensive burns on his skin. Potential partner, Potter Cast D. Ace. Available positions, Team 7 kills. Assessment of combat power, E class. Included features, Conquerors 1%. Potential partner, Outluck Sabo. Available positions, 7 kills team, Breaking Army team. Assessment of combat power, E class. Included features, None. Both little guys have the potential to join the 7 kills team. What surprised Sikong Yi a little was that Sabo also had the potential of 7 kills. He thought that Sabo could only join the Pojun team. Since there are two teams to choose from, it seems that we have to think carefully. Sikong Yi thought. Needless to say, Sabo's mind and management ability must be top-notch, and should be more suitable for the Pojun team. But a partner with 7 kill potential is really rare. Whether we can meet in the future is unknown. The point is, Luffy, Zoro, and Ace are all iron-headed children, and the addition of Sabo, who is responsible for intelligence, can restrain these reckless people. Otherwise, in the future, the Seven Kills team will be full of mindless guys, so why should he worry to death? Damn it, I'm going to kill you. Ace covered his head and stared at Sikong Yi and Luffy, the anger in his eyes almost became real. During this period, Ace already knew from Garp that his father was the One Piece King Luo Jia, and by asking many people, he learned that the One Piece King Luo Jia was an asshole. Therefore, he is extremely disgusted with Luo Jia, and disgusted with his own blood, and has a cynical and antisocial personality. Therefore, his temper is quite hot, and he seldom considers the consequences of doing things. Facing today's ace, Sikong Yi smiled. Had a good laugh. He, Sikong Yi, specializes in all kinds of disobedience. Your companion seems to be still breathing, don't you plan to send him to the hospital for emergency treatment? This question instantly crushed Ace's fighting spirit, and Ace hurried to Sabo to check his injuries. Sabo, how are you Sabo? Ace looked at Sabo's miserable condition and shed tears in pain. He didn't dare to touch Sabo, because Sabo's skin was almost intact, either burnt or red and swollen, it was shocking. For the first time, Ace regretted his impulsiveness. Enduring the pain, Ace gently gave Sabo a princess hug, and then galloped towards the city gate. But before he ran a few steps, he was stopped by Sikong Yi. Get out of the way, Ace growled, I have a ship's doctor on board, who can heal him instantly without leaving any scars. Sikong Yi pointed to Kaya who just woke up. Both Ace and Luffy's Conqueror's Hockey are still immature and have little influence on ordinary people. In addition, Kaya has a horse charm, so she is the first to wake up among the fainted partners. Why should I trust you? Ace asked with suppressed anger. Sikong Yi didn't answer, but asked Kaya to wake Usopp up, and then said to Usopp, cut yourself. Usopp cried when he heard the words, Captain, don't you want it? You are too timid, you have to go through training. Sikong Yi will not be used to this guy. Who needs to cut themselves for training? Usopp felt like crying. But seeing the captain's stance of if you don't do it, I will do it myself, I immediately picked up Zoro's Senban Sakura and chopped it down to the left hand. It was the right hand last time, so change it this time, otherwise it will be unfair to the right hand. Puff. The arm was broken, Kaya skillfully healed Usopp, and he recovered in an instant, leaving Ace dumbfounded. What kind of fairy medicine is this? It was able to repair the broken arm. What's your condition? Ace was not stupid, he could see that Sikong Yi had other plans. Sikong Yi smiled slightly, finally it was time to meet him. 
You and your companion join our Zwei pirates, and I will ask Kaya to heal your companion. In fact, Usopp hit Sabo hard, which was arranged by Sikong Yi early in the morning, in order to take the opportunity to absorb Ace and Sabo on board. Regardless of whether Ace and Ace fight or flee, no matter who they choose as their opponent, Sabo's heavy-handed script has been buried by Sikong Yi. There is no other way to pull Ace and Sabo onto the boat in this way. Ace and Sabo have experienced many cruel experiences since they were young, and their thinking is relatively mature. In the original book, the three brothers Ace Sabo Luffy had such a good relationship, but they parted ways in the end, which is enough to see that they are not willing to be inferior to others. Of course, in the end, Ace became the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates' second team, and Sabo became the chief of staff of the Revolutionary Army, which shows that as long as the method is right, there is still a chance to recruit him on board. It's just that mouth escape will definitely not work for Ace and the others. Only by letting them recognize the reality and the gap in strength, and then coerce and lure them, can they be completely recruited. So Sikong Yi staged a trick. However, it is not the people of one's own side who practice bitter tricks, but the people of the other side. Chapter 065 Ace doesn't talk about martial arts, Sikong Yi counts all strategies. Ace fell silent when he heard that the pirate group that was going to join Sikong Yi. He originally wanted to refuse directly, but seeing Sabo in his arms being seriously injured by his impulsiveness made him feel uncomfortable for a while. Okay, I'll join. After receiving Ace's answer, the system prompt tone also came. Ding. Regular task. Recruiting partners. The seventh ring has been completed. Please choose Devil Fruit. Option 1. Dark Elf Fruit. Option 2. Fallen Angel Fruit. Option 3. Vampire Fruit. Sikong Yi took a glance, except for the vampire fruit that had appeared before, the other two devil fruits were of unknown quality. Not in a hurry to choose, Sikong Yi took the lead in arranging for Kaya to treat Sabo. With the emergence of a green light, Kaya transferred the healing power of the horse charm to Sabo. Sabo recovered at a speed visible to the naked eye, and the burns and swelling on his body disappeared without a trace in an instant. No matter how many times I watch it, Ace is amazed by Kaya's abilities. Seeing that Sabo recovered from his injury, Ace thanked Kaya very politely, and then ran wildly with Sabo in his arms before Sikong Yi and others could react. Seeing this, Kaya opened her mouth and turned her head to look at Sikong Yi blankly. Sikong Yi shook his head and smiled at Ace's behavior of wanting to run away after eating everything. I just don't know where Dayton's house is, so let Ace lead the way. Sikong Yi glanced at the black shadow following Ace, and ignored it. Usopp spread his hands. The two of them met the captain. It was the most unfortunate thing in their life. They were calculated to death from the beginning to the end. At this time, Kaya also remembered the arrangement made by the captain early in the morning, and couldn't help silently mourning for Ace, and then rescued the unconscious partners one after another. Captain, shall we go after Ace and the others? Karina who woke up sensed the location of Ace and Sabo and asked. Don't worry, let's settle accounts with the Sapphire Pirates first. Sikong Yi did not forget the employment agreement, since a pirate came to him, he would naturally not let this piece of fat go. It can not only complete the tasks of Marine, but also cultivate a group of shadow soldiers, and also give Luffy extra meals. The point is that the total wealth of Zwei pirates has reached more than 9 million after the last battle with Buggy and Black Cat. As long as one more pirate group is solved, it can break through tens of millions, and at that time, another captain's skill can be obtained. By the way, Karina, after the shadow soldiers in charge of tracking Ace confirmed the location of Dayton's house, they arranged for the stationed shadow soldiers to drive the Emperor Star directly to the coast closest to Dayton's family. Okay. I get it. Karina has basically become Sikong Yi's secretary now, and Sikong Yi will entrust Karina to complete any matter. Captain, what is the aura released by that guy named Ace just now? Why do I have an irresistible feeling? Zoro looked to Sikong Yi, hoping to get an answer. Seeing that everyone was curious, Sikong Yi simply introduced Conqueror's Hockey. The aptitude of the king. Why don't I have it? Zoro was a little unwilling. Kuina was equally unconvinced. Luffy, on the other hand, had a flat face. So that thing is called Conquerors, it feels so so, I awakened a long time ago. Hearing Luffy's Versailles style speech, Zoro and Kuina couldn't bear it immediately, and immediately punched and kicked. Seeing this scene, Sikong Yi swallowed the news that he also awakened Conquerors just now. Damn it, why are you hitting me? The captain just awakened Conquerors hockey. Luffy argued loudly. I don't know if it was unintentional, or Luffy's brain became smarter, and he actually knew how to pull back. But Zoro and Kuina pretended not to hear. Luffy's words seem to drag the captain into the water, but they are actually hurting Zoro and Kuina. After all, they couldn't beat the captain. Wouldn't it be the only way to trouble the captain? Seeing the militant trio fight together, the rest of them are used to it. A group of people asked for directions while playing around, and soon found the base camp of the Sapphire Pirates. No nonsense, facing this group of experienced packs from the childhood of the three Luffy brothers in the original book, it only took a few minutes for the Zwei Pirates to solve all of them. The strength of Mr. Bruce, the captain of the Sapphire Pirates, is really not good. That is to say, 
Having two guns on hand looks quite bluffing, but in fact it is a little stronger than the Thief King Sig and the Smasher Dia. We have no grievances, why did you kill our Sapphire Pirates? Mr. Brew, who had a big hole in his abdomen and was bleeding profusely, asked the doubts in his heart with the remaining strength. If you want to blame it, blame your subordinate Bur Jamie for provoking me. Sikong Yi said slowly. In the original book, the Sapphire Pirates also did a lot of things in the follow-up. In order to avoid trouble, they naturally died early and were reborn early. He won't wait until the other party has caused a lot of trouble before solving it. Captain, after searching, the wealth of the Sapphire Pirates totals 3.7 million baileys. Karina finished counting the spoils and reported to Sikong Yi. As a phantom thief, it is not difficult for her to inspect and accept the treasure. Oh 066 since I can't resist, then try to enjoy it. Sikong Yi hurried to the room where the Sapphire Pirates kept their treasures, and brought all the treasures on the floor into the system space. Ding. Achievement mission. The total wealth has exceeded 10 million and has been completed. Please choose the captain's skill. Option 1. Chat with the soul ship. Option 2. Heishi shipbuilding. Option 3. Transforming ship armor. Filled diamond transformation ship armor. The captain can control the Emperor Star to assemble it into a giant battle armor for all round combat by sea, land and air. The durability loss of the Emperor Star will increase in this skill state. The first two options have both appeared before, and the new third option is equivalent to the robot warrior in Pacific Rim. However, the current Emperor Star's defense is too weak to play with such a high-end ability, so choose from the first two skills. Heishi shipbuilding can create phantoms, but the effect is not particularly great. In comparison, the effect of soul ship chat is a little more significant. System, I'll choose one. As Sikong Yi made his choice, an interface different from the system panel also appeared in his mind. Sikong Yi named it the ship chat panel. The ship chat panel shows that three chat groups can be established, and Sikong Yi took the lead in establishing a main ship group without even thinking about it. Then pull all the crew into the group. The main fleet has been established. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket Captain Sikong Yi becomes the group leader. Close black lens bracket. The group leader has pulled Luffy, Zoro, Kuina, Karina, Kaya, Usopp, and Ace into the main fleet. Close black lens bracket. Luffy. Huh, how did words appear in my head? And there is sound. Close black lens bracket. Luffy was wondering, and then found that the words in his mind appeared on the blank screen in his mind. Zoro on the side rolled his eyes, are you an idiot? This is obviously the owner of the group. Ah no, it was the captain who made it. Open black lens bracket Luffy. At Zoro, why don't you chat in my head? Close black lens bracket. Luffy stared at Zoro face to face, and Zoro's head was covered with black lines. Are you stupid? The distance between the two of us is not more than one meter. Open black lens bracket Luffy. What's the matter? Chatting here is very interesting. Close black lens bracket. Kaya. This chat group seems to be quite fun. Close black lens bracket. Kuina. Communication is very convenient, you can communicate with a single thought. Close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket Karina. At Jien Zhu, is there a distance limit for this chat group? Close black lens bracket. Group owner. No, you can chat no matter where you are, and you can ask for help in the group if you are in danger. Close black lens bracket. Sikong Yi's words completely shocked everyone in Zwei Pirates. No distance limit, just this point alone, once Marine finds out, he will definitely go crazy. Open black lens bracket Ace, how come you guys are in my head? Close black lens bracket. On the other side, Ace, who took Sabo to hide in the forest, suddenly felt rows of words and voices in his mind, and he panicked. He was worried that Sikong Yi would find his place, and forced him to join the Zwei Pirates. Ace, what's wrong with you? Sabo, who had already woken up, wondered. After Kaya's healing, Sabo is now like a normal person. Those lingering guys, I don't know what method they used to appear in my mind. Ace's face was full of anxiety. Huh, Sabo's expression became serious when he heard that, and he also felt fear for the Zwei Pirates. Especially the flame dragon cast by Usopp, which made him unable to resist at all. However, judging from the fact that Zwei Pirates cured him, it is obvious that they have no malice towards them. Ace, tell me the details of the voice in your head. Ace did not hide from Sabo, and told Sabo all the information in his mind, and Sabo's expression became more serious after thinking about it. If my guess is correct, this should be some kind of devil fruit's ability. If there is no distance limit as the group leader said, then this will be no less than a strategic weapon. Strategy is not important, how do I get out of this group chat? Ace just felt bored at the moment. Can you quit voluntarily? Cannot. Can you block it? Also cannot. From this point of view, the authority should be in the hands of the group leader, and he intends to recruit us, so it is probably useless. Sabo spread his hands, and then thought of another question. Since they pulled you into the group, why didn't they pull me? Uh, how could Ace know what Sikong Yi was thinking, and shook his head directly. So Sabo continued to brainstorm. 
Is it possible that agreeing to join the Zwei Pirates is a necessary condition for joining the group? Or the group leader didn't plan to add me before confirming whether I agreed to join? Sabo, what should I do then? Seeing that Ace is still so anxious, Sabo suddenly said earnestly, Ace, I guess this group chat will accompany you for the rest of your life. Since you can't resist, then try to enjoy it. Ace, what kind of tiger wolf word are you talking about? Are we still good brothers? I was harassed by this inexplicable group chat because of you. Open black lens bracket Usopp. At Ace, where did you go? Return to the team quickly, and bring that toothless guy Sabo, or I will immediately send 8,000 men to search the mountain. Close black lens bracket. Karina. Don't run away, you can't escape the captain's Wujishan. Close black lens bracket. Comma. A series of barges appeared in front of his eyes, and Ace felt his head explode. Chapter 067 The Pet Ship Recruitment Mechanism Misses the Lion's Niche. Seeing that Ace was still distressed, Sabo didn't know what to do for a while. Or, we might as well join their pirate group. Since you can't beat it, join in, Sabo doesn't feel ashamed. Of course, this is also because the Zwei pirates gave him a good impression, and the crew members are young but stronger than him by many times. Only then did Sabo admire him, and the idea of joining him arose. If it was a guy with worrying strength and bad personality like the Sapphire Pirates, Sabo would rather die than join this group of scum. No, but Ace refused. He wants to be the captain himself, not join someone else's pirate group. Ah, Sabo sighed, and didn't continue the topic. Dot dot dot. The headquarters of the Sapphire Pirates. Sikong Yi looked at the teasing of Ace on the screen in his mind, and found it very interesting. He had the illusion of returning to the era of information explosion in his previous life. Seeing that there were still two places left for group building on the ship chat panel, Sikong Yi established the sub ship group and private chat group without hesitation. The sub ship group is mainly for the members of the Broken Army to communicate with the sub ship members, but at present Sikong Yi only brings Kuina, Bankina, Karina, and Karina's Shadow Core into the group chat. As for the remaining members of the Heroic Spirit ship, let's let them hang out for now. After dealing with the issue of the boat chat, Sikong Yi called everyone to gather, and then headed towards Ace's direction together. It wasn't until night fell that the seven Sikong Yi finally passed through many barriers and arrived at Dayton's residence in the depths of Mount Corpo. Wow woof woof. At this time, a dog barked, which not only attracted the attention of the seven Sikong Yi, but also aroused the vigilance of Dayton's family. Sikong Yi glanced at Dayton's family's pet dog Boki. This white dog is quite interesting, and the original book shows a good spirituality. However, at the next moment, Sikong Yi discovered that there was a column of special information on Boki's head, which he almost ignored due to its subtlety. Potential battle pet, Pochi. System, why is there a message on this dog's head? Sikong Yi was extremely surprised. Back to host, there is information that this creature has the potential to be recruited. One of the host's nine auxiliary ships, the pet ship, is the only auxiliary ship that can see the information like recruiting the main ship's partner. Is it possible that I can also get devil fruit by recruiting battle pets? Sikong Yi asked. Return to host, you won't get any extra rewards for recruiting battle pets, but battle pets can get a boarding package. Sikong Yi was also a little regretful to hear that he couldn't get devil fruit, but it's good news to be able to recruit battle pets. And many more, Sikong Yi felt as if he had overlooked something. Lion of the Buggy Pirates, Niche. Kuina, Karina, when you signed the contract with the Buggy Pirates, did you give the lion a contract? Sikong Yi turned to ask the second daughter, Kuina and Karina were responsible for the aftermath of the battle in Xiluobu village. Huh, a lion, Kuina thought for a moment. The buggy pirates did bring a lion with them when they attacked Sarab village, but it disappeared when they signed a contract with the pirates. Since lions are not human, Kuina didn't care at the time. After Kuina's narration, Karina also added on the side, which made Sikong Yi feel a little regretful. Did it escape? At the beginning, Sikong Yi was busy dealing with the pirates, so he didn't pay attention to whether there was any information on Li Qi's head. But if you miss it, forget it, there are many rare and exotic beasts in the sea. Who are you? At this moment, Dayton led a group of bandits and surrounded the seven Sikong Yi. A fat woman with long orange wavy hair stood at the front of the crowd, smoking a cigarette, with a constipated expression of menopause. This person, Sikong Yi recognized, is the bandit Dayton, whose full name is Curly Dayton. On the right side of Dayton, the black and strong coxcomb head is named Magula, on the left side of Dayton, the dwarf man with a white turban is named Dogula. These two guys gave Sikong Yi a sense of deja vu. Behind the three of them is a background board of a group of extras, don't worry about it. Ah, it's you again. Ace who just ran out couldn't help exclaiming when he saw Sikong Yi and his party. Sabo, who was standing at the door, also saw the seven Sikong Yi, his face slightly bitter. He thought he could avoid the Zwei pirates by moving to Ace's side, but he didn't expect the other party to come to his door. Yo, Ace, Sabo, so you are here, what a coincidence. Sikong Yi greeted with a smile, Ace and Sabo were full of black lines upon hearing this. You obviously came to find us on purpose. You know each other. Dayton asked Ace. 
I don't know, this group of guys wanted to pull me into their pirate group, but I refused. I didn't expect them to chase after me like a lingering ghost. Ace snorted coldly. Usopp couldn't stand it anymore, and immediately went back angrily. You are still not a man. You agreed to join our pirate group voluntarily before, how can you go back on your word? Ace also lost his temper immediately. You injured my companion first, and then threatened me to join your pirate team on the grounds of medical treatment. What kind of voluntary is this? 068 choose the fruit and recruit Dayton's pet dog. I don't care, if a man talks a lot, you can tell whether you are a man. Usopp even got into a fight with Ace. Since the dragon charm, Usopp is the most floaty of his companions. Of course, it's limited to the mouth escape. Once it comes to fighting, you will be a little more arrogant when you encounter weaker ones, but you will still be as cowardly as the original book when you encounter stronger ones. You, Ace was so furious that he was about to explode the Yandy Great Flame Ring without the Mara Mara fruit. Enough. Dayton interrupted the meaningless quarrel, and then looked at Ace. Since you have made a promise, you must fulfill it to the end. Dayton can't wait for Ace to leave. Even though she felt a little bit reluctant in her heart, she could tell that Sikongyi and his group sincerely invited Ace to join the pirates. As an adoptive mother, she naturally wanted to help her adopted son. She knows Ace's character best, he is an out-and-out -out Tsunere, if he doesn't force him, he will never take that step in his life. Ace glared at Dayton viciously, and finally snorted coldly, HMPH, join as soon as you join, what's the big deal? At the door, Sabo suddenly raised his hand, since Ace agreed to join in order to save me, then I will join too. After Sabo said that he wanted to join, the beautiful system prompt sounded again. Ding. Regular task. Recruiting partners. The eighth ring has been completed. Please choose devil fruit. Option 1. Static fruit. Option 2. Bomb fruit. Option 3. Withered fruit. Seeing the names of the three fruits, Sikong Yi couldn't help breathing, and finally saw the bomb fruit that fit Usopp. Check out Sikong Yi's profile, along with previous ace recruitment rewards. Filled diamond dark elf fruit. Zone Phantom Beast, which greatly increases agility, reaction and spirit, and can control the surrounding dark elements. Filled Diamond Falling Angel Fruit. Zone Phantom Beast species, which greatly enhances the quality of the body, can be transformed into the form of a fallen angel, and gains the ability to fly. Filled Diamond Static Fruit. Paramesha, which can generate static electricity through friction. Filled Diamond Bomb Fruit. Paramesha, any part of the body can explode. Filled Diamond Withering Fruit. Paramesha, which causes the plant's touch to wither slowly. After reading the introduction, Sikong Yi finally chose the Fallen Angel Fruit and the Bomb Fruit. The fruit of the Fallen Angel has the ability to fly and has a strong effect on the body, so it is naturally the first choice. And Bomb Fruit complements Usopp's Dragon Blast. Remote Dragon Blast. Melee Dragon Blast plus Bomb Fruit. The closer you get to Usopp, the risk factor will increase exponentially. Whoever dares to treat Usopp as a crispy sniper in the future will probably die a miserable death. If the pumpkin fort is drawn in the future, the art of explosion will definitely be fully developed. Taking a deep breath, Sikong Yi looked at Ace and Sabo, and said with a smile, Welcome to my Zwei Pirates. When Dayton saw that his adopted son and his friends had joined the Zwei Pirates, he began to chase them away. Ace, Sabo, since you two have joined the pirates, leave my place. However, Sikong Yi refused. He planned to stay with Dayton for a while, so he pushed Luffy out. His name is Monkey D. Luffy, and he is the grandson of Marine Hero Vice Admiral Garp. Mr. Garp asked us to stay with you for a while, Ms. Dayton, do you have any objections? Dayton, you blocked the escape route as soon as you opened your mouth, how dare I have any objections? Ahem, for the sake of Garp being my old friend, it's not impossible to let you little guys stay for a while. But you have to do housework, otherwise there will be no food. Dayton gritted his teeth and agreed to Sikong Yi, and squeezed out three empty rooms. One for the female crew, one for the male crew and one for the captain. Ms. Dayton is really generous. I see that your pet dog is a good-looking talent. Can you give it to me as a guardian animal on the pirate team? Sikong Yi asked again. Dayton, it's fine to recruit my mother's adopted son, but even my mother's dog is not spared. Pochi is not a human, but you are a real dog. Dayton wanted to refuse, but seeing Sikong Yi making a garp, mouth shape, he pinched Dayton to death. Take it, take it, Pochi will follow you to take care of Ace. Dayton waved his hand and agreed directly, and then went back to his room, to see for nothing. Ace, why do I need a dog to take care of? Sikong Yi touched Boki's dog's head, as if knowing that he had changed to a new owner, Boki wagged his tail at Sikong Yi repeatedly. Seeing this, Sikong Yi took out the husky fruit and handed it to Boki. Come on, Boki, the new owner will give you a welcome gift. Husky fruit is just a common species of zone devil fruit, Sikong Yi doesn't like it, and he doesn't plan to give it to other crew members. Just seeing that Boki is well behaved and sensible, I plan to reward Boki. You feed devil fruit to dogs. Ace was startled. Sikong Yi smiled cheaply. If you want, I can also feed you. Get out, 
I'm not a dog. Ace felt scolded. Chapter 069 Fallen Angel Karina, Practice Six Styles in Hockey. Among the onlookers, Karina, Kaya and Yusuf did not envy Pochi even though they had never eaten devil fruit. The captain said before that if he meets a suitable devil fruit, he will definitely leave it to them. Since the captain fed the devil fruit to the dog, it means that the fruit is garbage. Soon, after eating devil fruit, Pochi's hair changed from pure white to black and white, with a naive dog face. It is the husky. Sikong Yi couldn't help but reached out and rubbed the dog's head. Hiss, comfortable. Boki's foolish look of enjoyment made Luffy and the others laugh, and they all leaned over to touch them, and soon Boki became one with everyone in the Zwei Pirates. Sabo looked at Boki, and suddenly felt that a human was not as good as a dog, and stared straight at Sikong Yi with big resentful eyes. Captain, devil fruit is hard to find, you might as well use it to train the crew if you feed it to the dog. Sikong Yi showed an extremely distressed expression on his face. I can't help it. I have too many phantom beasts and Lodia's devil fruit. I can't even look down on the ancient ones. I can only feed the ordinary ones to dogs. Sabo. Ace. There are too many phantom beasts and Lodia. Is this what people can say? Seeing the two little fellows ace Sabo questioning, Sikong Yi pointed to himself and his companions, and introduced them calmly. I ate the Lodia dark fruit, Luffy ate the phantom beast demon fruit, Zoro ate the phantom beast Shira fruit, and Kuina ate the phantom beast wind elf fruit. Listening to the names of the top fruits, the two little guys of Ace Sabo opened their mouths wide in shock, their faces full of horror. Seeing this, Sikong Yi secretly smiled in his heart, I don't believe that you two little guys are still under my sugar-coated cannonballs. As for Luffy's rubber fruit, he also said it was a devil fruit, mainly to cover up the truth of the devil's physique. Afterwards, Sikong Yi took out several devil fruits from the system space. Look, I still have Lodia's Mara Mara fruit and Thunder fruit in my hand, as well as the Phantom Beast Fallen Angel fruit, as well as the three top Paramesha golden fruits, Chop Chop fruit and Bomb fruit. After a round of Versailles, Ace Sabo was completely numb. Sikong Yi handed the bomb fruit to Usopp without hesitation, and Usopp chewed it with tears streaming down his face. I cried before eating because I was moved, and I cried after eating because it was so f-king unpalatable. When the whole bomb fruit was swallowed, Usopp punched the wall beside him, and a violent explosion erupted immediately. Blast a hole directly in the wall. Ace is sour, so is Sabo. Especially Sabo, his mood at the moment is particularly complicated. Usopp can kill him in seconds before eating the bomb fruit. Wouldn't it be stronger to eat the bomb fruit? Is there any chance for him to find his way back? At this moment, Sikong Yi was staring blankly at a dark brown fruit in his hand, and then looked at Karina standing beside him. This fallen angel fruit is quite suitable for a little girl like Karina. Before, I always thought that Karina was suitable for the shadow fruit, but the shadow fruit didn't seem to be much better than the fallen angel. Moreover, the shadow fruit is still in the hands of Gecko Moria, and it will not be available in a short time. That being the case, why not give the fallen angel fruit to Karina? So Sikong Yi took back the other fruits, and then handed the fallen angel fruit to Karina. This, is for me. Karina Sakura Momo opened her small mouth slightly, with a look of disbelief. Sikong Yi nodded. The fruit of the fallen angel can greatly enhance your physical fitness, and it also fits well with your shadow secret technique. Hearing this, Karina was moved in her heart, and then took a bite in front of everyone, and suddenly felt a sense of nausea hit her heart. Seeing that Karina wanted to eat again, Sikong Yi reminded at the right time, one bite of devil fruit is enough, and eating too much will have no effect. Usopp. Captain, why didn't you remind me just now? Sikong Yi curled his lips. You eat so fast, how can I have a chance to remind you? Bark. At this moment, Two small holes the thickness of thumbs were torn through the clothes behind Karina, and a pair of black wings emerged from them. Fallen angel with two wings. Sikong Yi stared at Karina's wings and couldn't help touching them, but was swept away by Karina's wings. Captain, you are a hooligan. Uh, cough cough, I'm just out of research and curiosity. Seeing that everyone was still skeptical, Sikong Yi immediately changed the topic, pulled Sabo into the group chat, and then hurried back to his room. It was getting late, and the rest of the people also fell asleep after washing up. Nothing to say all night. The next day, when Sikong Yi woke up, he gathered his partners and prepared for special training. However, Ace and Sabo went to the terminal of uncertain objects before Sikong Yi woke up, and started their old business of robbery. In this regard, Sikong Yi was a little helpless, but he did not continue to struggle. Ace Sabo does not participate in special training, that is their loss. In the grove one kilometer away from Dayton's house, Sikong Yi, seven people and one dog gathered here. Today I'm going to teach you two-tone hockey and marine six styles. Celebrate the seven-day-long holiday of National Day and enjoy reading books. Recharge 100 and get 500 VIP coupons. Immediate recharge, activity time, October 1st to October 7th. Chapter 070 Crash Course, Assist Venom in Developing Two-Color Hockey. The new book asks for flower evaluation votes. Everyone was excited when they heard that the captain was going to teach hockey, and Kuina asked, what is Marine Six Styles? 
Six forms is a physical skill that exceeds the limit of human physical ability, including iron body, paper arts, shave, moonwalk, tempest kick and finger pistol. Zoro frowned when he heard this. I'm a swordsman, and I don't need to learn physical skills. In his opinion, it is enough to concentrate on learning swordsmanship. Kuina nodded, obviously agreeing with Zoro's thoughts. Usopp also nodded. As a sniper, he focused more on shooting. Seeing this, Sikong Yi was too lazy to talk to him, and no one in his training camp would be lazy. Iron body, one of the defense skills of Marine Six Styles, threw drumming strength into the body, so that it has iron-like hardness, but it cannot move when casting iron body. Sikong Yi introduced the principle of iron body, but he is very clear that not everyone can't move when using iron body. In the original book, Jabra can speed up muscles by accelerating blood flow, and the second gear Luffy can also achieve this level. Iron body has the component of armed color, so I will combine the two, so that you can directly cultivate the armed color in one step. Hearing Sikong Yi mention armament hockey, everyone immediately focused their attention, and even Pochi sat quietly on the spot, pricking up his ears. Paper Arts, which belongs to one of the Marine Six Styles' defensive skills, unloads all the strength and uses the airflow changes generated by the opponent's movements to make it as easy as paper to avoid attacks. Paper Arts has an informative component, and I'm going to combine the two with armor and iron body to give you a crash course. What Sikong Yi said is similar to what Professor Rayleigh Luffy said in the original book. In fact, this is normal, after all. Rayleigh has simplified the essence of the two-color hockey and taught it to Luffy, but Sikong Yi's method will weaken the power as appropriate to ensure that they can practice at their age. Even if you can't practice hockey in a short time, you can still cultivate iron body and paper arts. Except for this practice method, Kaya can postpone the practice time, and the rest must start practicing today. Hearing Sikong Yi's arrangement, Kaya was self-aware and didn't say anything, but Usopp was not happy. Captain, I seem to have a disease that will kill me if I practice hockey, can I postpone it? Usopp looked like he had rabies. As a timid trio, he has always been the cat at the end of the team. When was he pulled into the first echelon by the captain? As for Karina, she gave a wry smile. Sure enough, devil fruit is not so delicious, and she had to join the training team after her physical strength improved. Usopp, as the chief sniper of the Zwei Pirates, how can you do without any melee combat ability? Sikong Yi smiled evilly, he was bound to train Usopp to be a fearless sea warrior, not just a brave sea warrior. Next I will introduce you to the remaining four Marine Six Styles. Shaved, which belongs to one of the Marine Six Styles displacement techniques, moves at high speed by stepping on the ground dozens of times at high speed in an instant to generate explosive reaction force. Moonwalk, which belongs to one of the Marine Six Styles displacement skills, is an advanced version of Shaved. It uses strong foot force to step on the air to generate air force, and walk freely in the air like stepping on stairs. Tempest Kick, one of the Marine Six Styles offensive techniques, creates a slash through a super fast and powerful kick that rolls up a vacuum. Finger Pistol, which belongs to one of the Marine Six Styles offensive techniques, concentrates all of its strength on the fingers, and releases a blow with the hardened fingers, so that it has the power of a bullet. After explaining the remaining six styles, Sikong Yi began to arrange the training plan. First of all, as swordsmen, Zoro and Kuina don't need to learn Finger Pistol. As a ship doctor, Kaya mainly focuses on shaving and moonwalk for the time being, and can properly practice paper arts, the rest must learn all of them. Starting today, all except Kaya will participate in two-color hockey practice during the day, and learn marine six styles at night. What about me? Kaya raised her small hand and asked curiously, she didn't want to be special. Sikong Yi thought for a while, and said, Kaya, you do basic training during the day, help your injured partner heal by the way, and learn the six styles with us at night. Okay. Kaya jumped up and down with excitement on her face. Immediately, all six people except Kaya were divided into two groups, Sikong Yi and Zoro were in a group, Kuina and Karina were in a group, Luffy and Usopp were in a group. Under Sikong Yi's signal, one of the team members dodged with a blindfold on, while the other was in charge of attacking. In the afternoon, the team switched identities. Sikong Yi put on the blindfold first, and then opened the Venom armor. That's right, Sikong Yi's main training object this time is Venom. After all, Venom's physical fitness and sense of danger far surpass him, so he must be able to cultivate two-color hockey earlier. And Sikong Yi inside the Venom can also properly cultivate the color of knowledge and knowledge, laying the foundation for mastering the color of knowledge and knowledge in the future. Let's start. Chapter 071 When hockey training is in progress, Scar is in a miserable situation. Seeing that the captain was ready, Zoro immediately manipulated several fragments of the magic knife thousand blades to attack. Puff puff puff. The sound of a series of fragments passing through the Venom armor reached Sikong Yi's ears, and the latter realized that he was being attacked. Venom, didn't you dodge? Master, I sensed it, but you have to be beaten if you want to carry out arm training, and I'm in the process of being beaten. Sikong Yi, with Venom's physique, even if he is beaten 80% of the time, it will be difficult to awaken the arm color, so it is better to master the knowledge color by dodging first. Venom took the lead and began to frantically dodge the fragments of the magic knife chinblade. 
Perhaps because of the racial talent, Venom became more and more adept at dodging fragments, and the range of movement became smaller and smaller. In the end, it basically could not move, and only needed to lean slightly to avoid it. Gradually, the embryonic form of paper arts came into being. On Sikong Yi's attribute panel, there are also additional features of six styles paper arts. However, after one morning, the color of knowledge and knowledge did not improve at all. It seems that I was too anxious. No matter how good the Venom talent is, it still takes time. Sikong Yi made an analysis. The training targets in the morning are Sikong Yi, Kuina and Luffy. Kuina trains mainly by hitting the body with a wooden stick. On the other hand, Luffy directly asked Usopp to use the bomb fruit for training. It can not only train Luffy's two-color hockey, but also train Usopp's development and use of bomb fruit, as well as the strengthening of his own physique by the impact of the explosion. Seeing this scene, Kuina was quite envious, but she didn't have the self-healing power like the captain and Luffy, so she couldn't afford such a high-end operation. Although Kaya can heal her injuries, her physique is too weak, she can't last long, and she can't achieve the effect of exercise at all. Near noon, Sikong Yi took a few people to fight a few wild animals in the forest, and dragged them back to Dayton's house to be cooked by those bandits. The taste is definitely not as good as the gourmet machine on the Emperor Star, but as long as it is passable, none of them are the kind of extravagant and picky people. After eating, several people began to practice two-color hockey again. In the afternoon, another member of the group was blindfolded and beaten. Dot dot dot. The coastal area south of the Kingdom of Goa. A pirate ship with a red heart skull pirate flag is sailing slowly on the sea. Ska, tell me, who is the most beautiful woman in this sea? A majestic voice sounded, scaring Scar, who was cleaning the floor, to startle, and directly overturned the dirty water in the bucket. Dirty water spilled under the feet of the speaker, causing a fit of fury from the speaker. Boom. Kicking Ska away with one kick, Alveda resisted the mace and stroked the bangs hanging from his forehead, revealing his puffy round face. With a body size of 300 caddies, every time Alveda took a step, the pirate ship would shake slightly. When Alveda came to Scar, the shadow completely shrouded Scar, bringing a chill to the bone. Alveda asked. Ska, let me ask you again, who is the most beautiful woman in this sea? It's you, it's you, it's the greatest and most beautiful Queen Alveda. Scar knelt in front of the fat woman who weighed 300 pounds, and showed her courteousness. The bottom of my heart is already regretful to ultimate. At the beginning, because he couldn't bear the ridicule and ridicule in the village, he finally went to sea to become a pirate, just to get revenge on that little ghost with white hair and purple eyes. For this reason, he originally planned to join a pirate group to lure the pirates to deal with the kid, but who knew that he was captured by the pirates of the Alveda pirate group as a handyman. And every day the fat captain would ask him the same question, and if the answer did not satisfy the captain, he would be beaten mercilessly. Scar was fed up with this kind of life, he would rather join the marine and be put in the shoes of Garp than stay here and be made useless. It's a pity that if there is no if, he has already become a handyman on the Alveda pirates, even if he wants to switch to marine's embrace, it will be too late. Beautiful Captain Alveda, we found a pirate ship ahead. At this moment, the deputy ran over to report. Oh, go and see. Alveda came to the right front of the deck with a mace in his hand, and sure enough, he saw a small pirate ship moving. Scar also looked curiously, and when he noticed the familiar shape of the ship and the purple pirate flag on the ship, he was not calm at all. It's them, it's the Zwei pirates. Scar shouted. Alveda was immediately interested when she heard about the Zwei pirates. Ska, this is the little ghost pirate group you said went to your hometown and drove you to nowhere. Yes, Queen Alveda, but their strengths are not simple. Boom. Scar was swept away by a mace. How many times have I told you to call me the beautiful Queen Alveda? Yes, yes, the beautiful Queen Alveda. Ska dragged her scarred body, slowly got up and said respectfully. Little ones, draw the boat over, only I am worthy of that famous knife in their hands. Alveda roared, her voice was rougher than a man's. When the Alveda pirates approached the Emperor Star, they were all stunned. Because they didn't see anyone on the Emperor Star. 072 The thinking mode of the shadow soldiers, meet the heroes. There was no one on the Emperor Star at the moment, but it was moving steadily forward, like a ghost ship. This scene startled everyone in the Alveda pirates. Even Alveda had a look of bewilderment, so she called Scar. Ska, jump over and have a look. Scar wanted to refuse when he heard the words, but when he saw Alveda's unquestionable eyes, he immediately faltered. Momojiu came to the edge of the deck, but Keska dared not jump over it, as if there was a scourge hidden opposite him. However, Alveda didn't have time to wait for Scar's ink stains, and immediately picked up Scar's collar and threw it viciously at the Star Emperor. Scar fell heavily on the deck of the Emperor Star, and his body quickly curled up. After a while, there was still no response from the Emperor Star. Only then did Ska bravely stand up slowly. But before he could breathe a sigh of relief, he saw a head popping out of his shadow, followed by his body, and then the whole person was exposed. No, it cannot be said to be human. Because the creature was completely black, without any human skin color. Puff. 
A hand plunged into Scar's heart, then pulled out, blood spilling over the deck. Those who invade the Emperor Star, die. The pitch black figure spoke out a few words calmly. This shadow soldier is the captain in charge of guarding the Emperor Star, named Black Nose. Created by Buggy's shadow, it also inherited Buggy's special red nose, but it became a black nose because of the skin color. The black shadow soldier does not have the memory personality of his life, but he still has his own thinking, and can also carry out simple communication. It's just that the thinking of the shadow soldiers is relatively rigid at the initial stage, and they need to grow continuously to unlock higher thinking. Just like at this moment, Ska invaded the Emperor Star and had to be obliterated. However, the rest of the Alveda pirates did not invade the Emperor Star, but they made it difficult for Black Nose. For a while, it was impossible to tell whether the other party's crew were intruders. Intruder. Dot non-intruder, cognitive error. Wrong order. Correct error. Execute arrest, conduct interrogation and report to captain. Black Nose talked to himself, and went through the whole process of confusion and integration. Everyone in the Alveda pirates didn't know what the Black Nose was muttering, and a group of pirates were about to rush up under the captain's order. However, at this moment, a shadow soldier appeared in the shadow of each of them, and soon subdued the entire Alveda pirate group. Dot dot dot. The sun was setting to the west, and when the seven Sikongyi finished training in the afternoon, Karina approached Sikongyi and told him all about the encounter with the pirates on the Emperor Star. Alveda pirates. Sikongyi thought of a certain fat woman, and immediately shivered. Oh, by the way, during this operation, Black Nose found a loophole and automatically repaired it. Except for the death of one pirate named Scar, all the rest were captured alive. I can contract a group of shadow soldiers again. Speaking of contracted shadow soldiers, Karina turned around excitedly, her purple hair dancing in the wind. As for Sikong Yi, he had a strange expression on his face. Could this scar be the scar he knew? So Sikong Yi asked Karina in detail, and after getting an affirmative answer, he was even more puzzled. This scar didn't run to become a marine, how could he become a pirate? Could it be that he was caught by Albida as a handyman on the way to become a marine? Tisk tisk, what a pity, yearning for marine just like Kevi, but in the end they all end up in the miserable end of becoming a handyman. Sikong Yi sighed with emotion. The partners hunted a lot of prey and dragged it back to be cooked by Dayton's chef. At the same time, Ace and Sabo also rushed back before nightfall and brought back a crocodile. Due to Ace Sabo's private actions, the relationship with the rest of the Zwei pirates during dinner time was not very harmonious. Sikong Yi didn't intervene in this matter, Ace is even more stubborn than Luffy, it's pointless to talk about any big reasons now, just wait quietly for the subtle influence of the ship's heart and ships will to play a role. Recruiting a partner is always a matter of choice. Sikong Yi occasionally plays tricks to force others to join, but it is for devil fruit. Once the fruit is obtained, Sikong Yi will give the other party the right to choose. If the other party is still unwilling to join the pirates under the influence of Zhou Xing Xing, he will not force it. After eating enough, Sikong Yi arranged for the three of Zoro Kaya Yusuf to practice shaving. He himself took Luffy, Kuina and Karina to the nearest coast to recover the Alveda pirates. Back on the Emperor Star, the blood stains on the deck had dried up. Sikong Yi asked the two daughters to sign a contract, and arranged for several shadow soldiers to wipe off the blood stains. When all the aftermath was completed, the shadow ship and the heroic spirit ship had many more members. The Black Nose Detachment continued to be stationed on the Emperor Star, while the Black Spike Detachment was sent by Sikong Yi to the Kingdom of Goa to inquire about intelligence. Kuina, take me to the heroic spirit ship. After arranging the shadow ship, Sikong Yi said suddenly. Okay. Kuina heard the words and opened the transom door in the meeting cabin. When Sikong Yi stepped into it, he saw that the deck of the small heroic ship was crowded with heroic spirits. There are members of the Buggy Pirates. There are members of the Black Cat Pirates. There are also members of the Alveda Pirates just harvested today. 073 The assassination plan is launched, and the sheep must be slaughtered. Put on the shelf for subscription and full order. It's you. How long are you going to lock us up? Let us out. I don't want to stay in this ghost place. On the dilapidated and decayed deck, the heroic spirits shouted wildly, but that was all they could do, they couldn't launch any attack on Sikong Yi. Buggy stood up at this time, suppressing the restless hearts of the crew. Little ghost, I remember that I was already dead, why did I appear here? Buggy asked with a gloomy face. For this question, the rest of the heroic spirits also want to know. They can be sure that they are dead, but they inexplicably appear on a ghost ship. You have signed a heroic contract, and you will become my subordinates after you die. If I don't die, you will live forever, and the price you have to pay is loyalty. Sikong Yi's words made Zhang Yingling feel incredible. Eternal life. They dare not even think about it. Loyalty. As pirates they are only loyal to freedom. Many heroic spirits wanted to resist, but found that they couldn't do it anyway, and the entire 14 people panicked. And some heroic spirits thought that they didn't eat or drink and didn't die during this period, and they already believed half of Sikong Yi's words. 
There were unbelievers in the Alveda pirates who just came in, and they wanted to attack, but as soon as this idea came to their minds, they had a splitting headache and wailed on the deck in pain. The noise on the deck of the heroic spirit ship awakened Banchina who was resting in the house. When she came to the deck, the heroic spirits automatically moved out of the way. The identity of the passive contractor is a little higher than that of the active contractor, so that the active contractor cannot launch any attack on the passive contractor. Xiaoyi, why are you here? Benchina asked curiously. Sikong Yi greeted with a smile. I'm sorry, Aunt Ban, you're asleep. Fine. Banjina shook her head, and then learned from Sikong Yi that there was a big move, and immediately wanted to help, but the latter refused. Aunt Ban, this matter is too dangerous, you are not suitable to participate. Seeing this, Benkina couldn't say anything more, so she had to give up. At this time, Kuina also came in through the world transmitting gate, greeted Aunt Ben, and then stood on the deck to treat the doctor. Heroic spirits, this is Sikong Yi, the captain of the Zwei pirates. Strictly speaking, you are all the captain's subordinates. Whoever dares to disrespect the captain, I will unilaterally terminate the contract, and let his soul fly away. As the captain of the heroic spirit ship, Kuina has dealt with this group of heroic spirits, and naturally knows that these guys are a group of arrogant lunatics. Yes, all the heroes responded quickly. The members of the deputy ship only accept orders from the captain, and even Sikong Yi cannot give orders. However, under Kuina's orders, it is enough for them not to disobey the captain. Next, I will send you to infiltrate the kingdom of Goa. Your task is to touch the royal nobles on the assassination list, cause conflicts, and kill the target as a retaliator. The above content was drawn up by Sikong Yi. As for why the royal family and nobles had to touch porcelain to cause conflicts, Kuina himself didn't know very well. I only heard Sikong Yi occasionally mention a few words. If you want to make it perish, you must first make it crazy. Remember two points. First, you must not disclose any information related to the Zwei pirates, your life and the mission. Secondly, once you are driven to a dead end, you can allow yourself to kill yourself, and your souls will reunite on the heroic spirit ship in a week. As Kuina's words fell, all the heroic spirits except Banjina felt that their brains were being chained. It seems that as long as the rules are violated, there will be unexpected and dire consequences. Clap clap. Behind all the heroic spirits, there was a burst of applause. The heroic spirits moved away subconsciously, revealing a man with glasses in a black suit. Hundreds of crows. The captain is really a good idea. Is this intended to cause panic among the royal family and nobles? Kuina frowned, but Sikong Yi spoke first. Beiji Keluo, do you have anything to add? Hello, captain. Crow bowed politely to Sikong Yi to express his sincerity, and then slowly spoke his thoughts. Slaughtering sheep, if you don't collect the wool, will only make others cheaper. It was a very short sentence, but it made Sikong Yi understand the meaning. Crow wants him to steal the house. But the idea came to his heart. He didn't think about ransacking the house before, because the difficulty of the task is not low, and it is easy to cause death and make the money unable to be transferred smoothly. If it is discovered during the handover process, it will be even more harmful than the game. But the Zwei pirates are not just a team of heroic ships. He also has the second squadron of shadow ships. The shadow group is responsible for stealing property, and through the ability to walk among the shadows, money can be transferred to the Emperor Star without anyone noticing. At present, all the people who have seen the Shadow Core are basically dead, as long as they are more secretive, there is no need to worry about being discovered. And even if Marine finds out, it's only exposing the Shadow Ship, and the things that the Heroic Spirit Ship did can't be blamed on him, so there is still room for maneuver when facing Marine. The key point is that Karina, the captain of the Shadow Ship of the 2nd Division, was born as a monster thief, and it is not wrong for her subordinates to continue to engage in the theft industry. Very good, Beiji Crow. The captain accepted your proposal, and at the same time appointed you as the deputy captain to command the armed forces. 17. Buggy, Zango and Alveda each manage 650 teams, and build detachments based on the original crew of each pirate regiment, under the orders of Deputy Captain Crow. After Sikong Yi finished speaking, everyone looked at each other, but no one spoke. It wasn't until Kuina repeated Sikong Yi's words that all the heroic spirits felt that there was some kind of restraint on their bodies, and they responded one after another. Ahem. Sikong Yi coughed dryly twice to hide the embarrassment in his heart. Kuina covered her mouth and snickered, and it didn't stop until the captain was also deflated. Captain, captain, if we perform well, will we be rewarded with devil fruit? Crow has completely assumed the role and started to seek profit for himself. For this problem, Sikong Yi thinks it is not too much, and adding sweet dates to the stick is the reasonable way to attack. But forget about Logia, Phantasmal, Ancient and Top Paramesha devil fruit. At most give them some devil fruit like husky fruit. Host, except for the battle pet ship, all the other auxiliary ships have three gift packages. Only the top three members who have contributed more than 100 million can get the contribution package. 1. The sudden interruption of the system made Sikong Yi unable to react for a while. The main reason is that he never expected that the members of the deputy ship would also have the opportunity to get the gift package. 
Although the quality of the gift package is a bit poor, it is at least issued by the system. Chapter 074 Ace Sabo Sneak Training, Observation Hockey Awakening. Put on the shelf, ask for subscription, ask for flowers. Rewards are naturally indispensable, Sikong Yi replied briefly, and didn't talk too much, after all, devil fruit is not so easy to get. And each auxiliary ship only has three contribution packages distributed by the system, and no one will reach hundreds of millions of contributions in a short period of time. Sikong Yi pulled Crow, Buggy, Zangao, and Albida into the secondary fleet, and then let the heroic spirits lead the Emperor Star to move freely. Sikong Yi took Luffy and his party back to Dayton's house. In the front yard, Kaya, who was stomping the ground continuously, noticed the figures of Sikong Yi and others, and immediately trot over excitedly. Captain, you are back. Kaya has been practicing hard. Well, Kaya is so good. Sikong Yi smiled and touched Kaya's head. Then he turned his gaze to Ace and Sabo who were peeking at Zoro's training through the window, and the corners of his mouth raised an imperceptible arc. Ace, Sabo, do you want to study together? Sikong Yi greeted. Boom. There was only a sound of collision in the room, and then there was no sound. Sikong Yi didn't pay much attention to it, and took his companions to continue practicing and began to shave. Only by cultivating razor can one practice moonwalk on its basis. Tempest kick requires strong leg skills, so it can be considered after the practice is finished. As for finger pistol, it needs iron body as the foundation. Otherwise, if you poke it down with your finger, it will be 80 damage to the enemy, and 800 damage to yourself. The seven practiced until midnight, washed up and fell asleep. Continue to practice the next day. On this day, Ace and Sabo did not go to the terminal of uncertain objects, but kept secretly observing the training methods of Sikong Yi and others. Then imitate it. Bang bang bang. Hiss, I'll go. Ace, can you hit me lightly, I'm almost stunned by you. Lifting off the blindfold, Sabo touched the cheek that was completely swollen into a pig's head, and was speechless for a moment. Ace frowned. I saw that they were very heavy-handed during training. They ate devil fruit, and some of them were phantom beasts. Their physique was many times stronger than the two of us, and they must be able to withstand beatings. Sabo, why don't we find a devil fruit to eat? Are you kidding? Devil fruit is so easy to find. Sabo growled. I remember that guy has a bunch of devil fruit in his hand, it shouldn't be difficult to find it. Uh, hearing what Ace said, Sabo couldn't be sure for a while. In fact, he never figured out where Sikong Yi got so many devil fruits. Could it be that the times have changed, there are as many devil fruits as dogs, and Lodias are everywhere. That's it, we're going to find devil fruit, it must be more than that guy's devil fruit. Ace ignited his competitive spirit, Sabo sighed helplessly when he saw this, and had to follow Ace to mess around. This search took three days. However, no fruit with a spiral pattern was seen. Whether it was in the trees, underground or in the river, I searched all over, but I didn't find anything. In the end, the two had no choice but to go back to the grove where Sikong Yi and others were training, and practiced hockey while peeping. It's just that the physique of the two is not as good as Zoro and the others who ate the phantom beast, and they are comparable to Usopp who ate the bomb fruit. But Usopp has a ship's doctor, who can treat them at any time, and Ace and Sabo can only sit and rest after being beaten. The gap widened in an instant. Sabo already had the idea of joining the Zwei pirates, but Ace still insisted on the last stubbornness, so Sabo could only sacrifice his life to accompany the gentleman. Who told them both are quite good brothers? Time passed slowly, the time for exercise was always short, and another three days passed in the blink of an eye. In the early morning of this day, Sikong Yi got up very early to wake up everyone for training, and he could feel that there was only one step away from awakening the sense of knowledge. In order to hit the goal, Sikong Yi suspended the training of other partners and, ordered all the crew members to attack him with all their strength. Putting on the blindfold and casting the venom armor, Sikong Yi is ready to go. You can start attacking. Boom. Shish. As soon as the words fell, Sikong Yi sensed a fierce and violent flame gushing in front of him, and there were still several blades hidden under the cover of the flame. This was perceived by Sikong Yi himself, and the venom had already seen the number and orientation of the blades, and his body dodged with the smallest margin. Shadow binding. One knife flow wind breaking. Magic oak second gear gatling. Just as the venom was avoiding the dragon explosion and the fragments of the magic knife thousand blades, a black shadow went straight to the venom's feet without a sound. The crisis sensor rang crazily, but venom didn't realize where the crisis came from for a while. The next moment, the venom was restrained, Sikong Yi realized that he couldn't move, and immediately remembered Karina's shadow restraint technique. Without giving Sikong Yi much time to think, Kuina slashed behind the immobile venom with his sword, but unfortunately it did not cause any damage. Possessing dark energy, venom is nearly immortal. Immediately afterwards, Luffy's fist, which was faster than Gatlin's, turned on the second gear. One minute, two minutes, five minutes. As soon as the shadow binding technique expired, Karina hurriedly hid in the rear of the team, resting while letting Kaya refresh her stamina. The horse charm can restore physical strength, but after being fine-tuned by the system, restoring physical strength will consume Kaya's own strength. 
The venom that had regained its freedom once again moved around with ease, and at the same time, its nerve response was fully activated, trying to sense the breath and movement trajectory around it. Especially the illusory shadows, it is really hard to detect without the eyes. After Karina performed the shadow binding technique several times, Venom's mentality became a little messed up, and Sikong Yi had to comfort Venom to calm down. Only with a calm mind can one feel the changes in the breath of the whole body. According to the words, Venom tried to ignore all kinds of attacks around good, good. Gradually, Venom gradually forgot what he was still training, and his mentality gradually calmed down. Even a little want to doze off pregnant. In a daze, Venom saw Kuina walking around it with a sword, looking for opportunities to wield the sword of vowed victory. It saw it, saw the outline of the sword that swore to victory, saw the distinct black and white lines and the pattern on the sword body. Immediately afterwards, Venom felt that he could see all 360 degrees around his body, not the perspective of white eyes, but a strange and mysterious sense. At this moment, Venom found a beam of black shadow spreading on the ground, about to touch its legs. The Venom flashed to the left immediately, narrowly dodging the shadow binding technique. Huh, Sikong Yi didn't know what happened, but he saw the word, knowledge color, added to the attribute column on the attribute panel. Am I awakened to knowledge? Sikong Yi felt a little dreamy. 075 ready to leave, Ace and Sabo abscond with money. Put on the shelf for subscription and full order. Happiness came a bit suddenly, Sikong Yi felt extremely unreal. Although it is not himself who awakens observation hockey, but the venom. But the power of venom is equivalent to his power, the venom mastering the color of knowledge is also equivalent to him mastering the color of knowledge. If Sikong Yi himself awakens observation hockey in the future, there may be unexpected effects under the superposition of the two layers. Stop it all, Sikong Yi shouted at the crowd. Luffy immediately released the second gear, leaned in front of Sikong Yi and asked. Captain, have you awakened observation hockey, let us see. Idiot, didn't you see when the captain escaped the shadow binding technique just now? Zoro withdrew his knife and sheathed it, the gleam in his eyes flashed away. If he was blindfolded, he would definitely not be able to escape the shadow binding technique, and the performance of the captain before was the same. The reason why he was able to escape the last moment was obviously because he had awakened his color of knowledge. The three daughters Kuina, Karina and Kaya came forward to congratulate and ask Sikong Yi how he felt about awakening observation hockey. Sikong Yi thought for a while, organized his language and spoke slowly. Before 170 is about to awaken the color of knowledge and knowledge, he will feel that his whole body is not smooth. Only by constantly squeezing and experiencing can he find a breakthrough. As long as he vents out, he will feel extremely transparent, as if the whole world has become much brighter and clearer. Luffy. Like constipation. Zoro. Usopp. Sikong Yi. Luffy. Can you stop using such disgusting adjectives? Karina immediately went berserk and cast shadow restraint to freeze Luffy. Kuina, who was standing next to Karina, cut the knife in one go, and Luffy was chopped into two halves. Seeing this, Kaya waved her small powder fist as a warning. Ahem, it's still early, everyone continues to train in groups. Sikong Yi explained, and started special training with Zoro again. Near noon, after training, everyone shot a few prey and dragged them back to Dayton's house as usual. When the prey was turned into food, the seven of Sikong Yi feasted on it, eating almost 70% of the food every time. The remaining 30% was eaten by bandits from Dayton's family. How long are you little devils going to stay in my house? Pirates should, BEDF, gallop carefree on the sea, what does it look like to hide in the mountains? Dayton gnawed on the hooves of the buffalo, looking like a villainous master who gave orders to evict guests. Ace and Sabo, who were squatting in the corner and nibbling on the crocodile meat, were stunned. If Sikong Yi wanted to leave, wouldn't they have to follow suit? Ace fell silent, Sabo doesn't care, stopping the chopsticks, Sikong Yi thought about it, and what the big painting said was right. We are pirates, so it is really unreasonable to always hide in the mountains. But the problem is, the Emperor Star can't accommodate so many people. Hey, it seems that Ace and Sabo can be arranged to sleep on the shadow ship. It's just that in this way, there is an inexplicable sense of deja vu. Withdrawing his thoughts, Sikong Yi thought of the feelings that had been brewing in the hearts of the two little ones, as well as the intelligence agents and killers who deployed the entire Goa Kingdom, plus the Venom has awakened observation hockey, basically what should be done in the Goa Kingdom everything has been done. Then it's time to leave. Okay, I really feel a little bored these days, we will leave tomorrow. The friends are also looking forward to new adventures. As for the supplies, there is no need to worry, there are supplies from the Sapphire Pirates and the Albeda Pirates, which are enough for the Zwei Pirates to last for two months. It would not be a problem to kill a few more beasts and store them in the system space before leaving. After lunch, the seven members of Sikong Yi continued to practice. Boki also participates in training occasionally, especially loves to practice shaving. Now it has a small scale, and it can step on the ground seven times in an instant. It's just that Pochi's movement of stomping the ground is a bit funny, just like a cramp. Dot. Ace Sabo walked one after the other, both of them seemed extremely silent. Finally Sabo spoke up. Ace, 
Are you really leaving? Why, the people in Zwei Pirates are very nice. Hearing this, A stopped and turned around to look directly at Sabo. You should know that my father is One Piece Gordi. Luo Jia. Well, you said that before. You should have noticed those guys from the Zwei Pirates, right? The oldest is only 11 years old, and the youngest is only 7 years old. Why do you think they went to sea to become pirates? Hearing Ace's question, Sabo immediately understood what the former meant. Are you trying to say that those guys became orphans because of the One Piece? I don't think so, and they're not the kind of people who would blame the blood of the culprit. Hee hee, if your parents died at the hands of pirates, and the pirates were caused by the words of the pirate king Luo Jia, wouldn't you hate it? Wouldn't you curse Luo Jia to kill the whole family and curse Luo Jia's bloodline? Good to die. Ace lowered his head, Sabo couldn't see the emotion in Ace's eyes, and didn't know what to say to comfort him for a moment. Don't persuade others to be kind without others suffering. Sabo didn't realize until this moment that Ace kept distance from Sikong Yi and others because of his father Luo Jia, the One Piece King. Ace, how about the two of us buy a boat and go to sea now? Sabo suddenly suggested. Sabo, you don't have to sacrifice so much for me. Ace shook his head, he knew that Sabo had long wanted to join the Zwei Pirates, but he didn't join because of him. However, Sabo has a determined face. What nonsense are you talking about? Ace, we are brothers, we share blessings and share sorrows. Ace raised his head when he heard the words, and there was a trace of hope and emotion in his helpless eyes. Resisting the urge to cry, Ace turned his back to Sabo and said, Okay, let's go and spend all our savings over the years to buy a boat and food. We brothers roam Tianya together. After speaking, Ace rushed towards the treasure location, trying to dry the tears in the corners of his eyes with the help of the howling wind. Sabo followed Ace with a smile, a full smile on his face. This is the life he wants. Three hours later, the two of Ace Sabo stuffed the treasure into a large backpack, and the two children disguised themselves as adults in cloaks, and successfully entered the city after showing the crest of the Altrock family. The two noticed a lot of staring eyes around them, so they had to go around a few times to get rid of them, and then headed towards the port. Along the way, many people looked at the cloaked man with strange eyes. Fortunately, the security in the urban area was relatively safe, and the road went unimpeded without any trouble.